Dial tone, another night of sleeping. Uh, alone, I'm coming over. This wasn't what I was hoping. What happened to being open? What went wrong? Say we make up, say none. Let the tension break us. No. Settle down, feel you breathe and start to shake up. Just gotta hear me out. No, it doesn't have to be your fault. Oh, you try to tell me I'm a broken one. You're the only one feeling like you're not enough. I know my issues feel like they're your exit door. They make you insecure, but you know what they're looking for. So be. Shut up, don't wanna talk about it Don't wanna let it out I know it's too much to handle No, you just want it to stop Shut up, don't wanna talk about it, don't wanna let it out I know it's too much to handle, no, you just want it to stop 
don't text me anymore. I wish they would have help you text back sooner. Thought I opened up a door. I guess I closed the one that kept our future. Why am I always the one that does a changing? I lost myself trying to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things. I wish I never cut my hair, called all night, never let you love the songs I liked. Always get too close and let me down. I wish I never let us fall in love. I wish I never grew it out the way you say, cause now I'm so damn close to going insane when I look in my camera every day. I wish I never let us fall out. I still got my hoodie in your drawer. I know you wear it often as I'm gone. I guess you take the things you want and leave me feeling like the lonely. As a sign for me to change I gave my all and now I'm barely fine With the memories hovering on my face Wish I knew better than to take your crying As a sign for me to change I gave my all and now I'm barely fine With the things I do every day I wish I never cut my hair Called all night Never let you love the songs I love let me down I wish I never let us fall out I wish I never grew it out The way you say Cause now I'm so damn close To going insane When I look at my camera Every day I wish I never let us fall out I wish I never Like it was just last night I was all set up for the highest sights Oh yeah I don't fuck it all up again Again 18, yeah, I got big dreams But it don't mean shit If I can't stop dreaming Every second, yeah, I could've been there Right then And taking over my thoughts No, I can't let it go Say I just need to focus But that's what I don't do best Yeah, here we go again Trying to fake my pride when I know deep down that I have no fight One hit can knock me down and I'll be better off dead Yet I'll say all this shit, how I'll make it work And then I trip down all the steps and hurt my head And then I beat all the words that you said, yeah Taking over my thoughts, now I can't let it go Say I just need to focus, but that's what I don't do best
saw my twisted air Couldn't go my way Too late All my efforts went wasted Wish that I could skip ahead What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday night. I hope everybody's doing good. Hey, listen, first off, Fox with the merch purchase and said, let's fucking go. Hell yeah, Fox. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's the first merch that's sold in like, I think like a month. <laughs> so was that you, Hannah? I don't know if Hannah's here. Was that was that that Fox or was it somebody else? Anyway, thanks for the merch purchase. Classic Mini Cooper with the five gifted channel memberships and those went to Blitz. Zylac, Bradley H, Mike Rosin, and LJ Taylor. Mini Cooper, you absolute rock star. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Also, we had a couple people become channel members uh, at the start of the stream. One of those was Zach um, Flumgum. Welcome to channel membership at the engineer level. You're a rock star. Really appreciate it, man. And then I think there was someone else. Sean Ambrose became a cadet channel member uh, near the start of the stream as well. The starting soon screen. So, Sean you legend thank you i really appreciate all that support it helps out a bunch i hope everybody's doing good so what i was doing while i needed a little extra time there is i was backing up uh the save in alone in the dark so just in case when we start a new game here if anything funky happens uh i wanted to make sure that all was good and i just realized i looked up and i have forgotten to put on my heart rate monitor ah I will be literally five seconds. I'll be right back. Give me five seconds. <coughs> oh my goodness, chat. Today has been a day. It has been a day for all days, forever days. We got lots to talk about tonight. <laughs> Listen to that. That's that nice music from the end of the game there. Edward Carnby, total playtime, almost 11 hours. All right, hold on. Got to get my heart rate monitor bopping. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot this. All right. I'm back. Here's my face. I had a busy day, so much stuff. What's up, Philo Goober? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for doing good. Hannah, good to have you. Appreciate you being here. Hannah, was that your merch perch? <laughs> merch perch? <laughs> was that your merch purchase? <laughs> or was that another fox? Uh, Lily, welcome. Bradley, Too Fast Jim, Nico, Mini Cooper, Workman, Luxotech, Disabstracted. Welcome, Paolo and Miss Paolo. Good to have you. I hope you're both doing well. Levi, good to see you. Klein, Blue, Auntie Maru, Nancy, Jack Frost, uh, Melon Cow Wow. Welcome. Good to have you. I hope everybody's doing good. Furbies, Anthony. Welcome, welcome. All right. So I'm worried because there's no like new game plus option here, <laughs> or there's no like start new. We completed this one so i like is it gonna carry over my progress does it know i don't know we'll find out i backed up the save so we should be okay in that regard i don't know we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out it was your merch perch all right hell yeah hannah thank you so much this abstracted with the 10 gifted channel memberships those went to twinkle professor professor son um, Arkham, uh, who else? Oh my god, it's going too fast. Kayla, a grouchy smurf. Alan Merchant, Sophie, uh, Lucifer, uh, David Price Hastings, and probably some other people that I missed. Uh, Disabstracted, you legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see what happens. If this fucks up, we'll end it. We'll, I'll replace the save and we'll, we'll figure out how to do this, okay? Your previous auto save will be deleted. That's fine. That's completely okay. All right, so we played Edward Carnby, the detective story, right? Now we're gonna play Miss Emily Hartwoods. Get the full picture of everything going on at Derseto in this cosmic horror madness. That's a, that's a crocodile, right? A crocodile? 
crocodile. What's up, Ash? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, Stewie, welcome. Good to have you. Janet Doyle, good to see you. Alone in the dark. The night is lonely and full of terror. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. <laughs> she says that so As casually. The devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. Hey, what's up, Sarah? Thanks for joining and what supporting while you can. Have fun in Helldivers. It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it Michael, didn't good me. to see you. Thanks for joining. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating <laughs> melancholy. Possession? Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Nancy with the $5 super chat said, Skilly, have you gone to find Pucks, Pucks' but Jeremy Stony didn't Phil? kill himself. You will by next Tuesday. Way, You'll be getting two feet of snow in the next storm coming, hug. Despite being convinced hopefully, that he's truly possessed, he decided to no put his last me. chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, <laughs> figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Nancy, you legend. Thank you so much for the you super chat. The really letter. appreciate it. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. And she has a very dark and dire view of the world, doesn't she? I forgot that she said that at the beginning. <laughs> Auntie Mario with the Ted Gifted My Channel memberships. Well, Mr. Kirby. I want to make sure he's all right. Auntie Mario, my you legend. Is. Thank you so much. Couldn't get a cat. Really appreciate it. I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff is. <laughs> wave it around. <laughs> what exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? Nobody who actually knows how to handle guns would just wave know. them around. Let's just find him first. She was being a little colorful though. I understand. All right, so we played as car B. So here's the thing. <laughs> I'm still not confident that it's carrying over our progress. Uh, but we need to choose Emily, which is played by Jody Comer. And then hopefully what we should see when we can see our inventory is we should see our lag and happy process, right? Like carry over. So hopefully we see that. Uh, Skylar Foxy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Coast Ally, good to see you. Michael Kanan, welcome. Good to have you also. Texas Spartan 099. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Auntie Bar, you rock star. Thanks again for the 10 uh, gifted subs. Appreciate that. All right. Miss Emily. Something tells me she's a little more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hello? She's a little more it's competent so than she, like Where that whole everyone? image right there There's showed her to place. be. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Maybe. Stay here. I'll have a look. Miss Ellie, good to see you. Thanks for joining. So, when we played Edward, Emily was the one that stayed up at the door and we went in and had to help her in. Now it's changed? That's interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to point out, she has a gun too. So she's asking him if he has a gun and she brought a gun. All right, let's look at our inventory. Did our Laganappies carry over? They did. Okay. By the way, if anybody's playing this themselves, uh, I think Allie in chat was, and I hate to share this information with her, but I, I read that there was, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional. I read if you don't play as Edward Carnby first, your Laganappy process for some reason doesn't carry over yet. I'm sure they'll fix that and patch it. 
But uh, my recommendation is if you end up playing this for yourself, play as Edward Carnby first, then play and get the story from Emily's perspective so that you get the lag and happy process. So fingers crossed, we should be able to complete. We've already got seven out of 15 complete. We should be able to get the rest of these on Emily's playthrough. Disabstracted with the $50 super chat and said, thanks for all the content from our family to yours. Thank you. Disabstracted, you absolute legend. Say hi to the family for me. Thank you again for the support. Really appreciate it. We also had another merch perch, <laughs> aka merch purchase, uh, from Mr. and Miss Paolo. It said, we love the one we ordered months ago, so wife wanted one that would cover past her knees, LOL. Well, hell yeah. Thank you so much for purchasing some more merch. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this one as well. Thanks again, Mr. and Miss Paolo. Absolute rock stars. Paolo is one of our mods, helps out a ton. You guys saw him on the community stream. So, all right, who else joined? Junior, Junior's here, Junior. Junior, the, the OG, the AKA first channel member. Welcome, dude, I hope you're doing good. Jarvis, good to see you, thanks for being here. Philo, I can't remember if I said hi, Philo. Hi, Philo, I hope you're doing good. Ali, welcome, hopefully it'll be okay for me. You have five complete so far. Uh, they've had like several updates, so that might be old info. I was backing up my save before starting because I literally couldn't find but like one or two articles online saying how to start a new game properly uh, and carry over your progress and they were dated a couple months old so they probably patched it and fixed it but just FYI so Mr. Libido what's up <laughs> welcome to the stream <laughs> what a name all right all right so we have our lagging appies so it is counted it is counted our progress there's an engagement ring. When I get back, 1918, John Marcus. So is Emily Hartwood engaged? Jeremy's warning. Let's read his letter. Dearest Emily, Deseto is the prey of evil, and now they're all in on it. The staff and all the patients are nothing more than a mindless cult set to awaken the bayou. I see now that it was wrong of me to try to survive the madness of the dark man. You will also learn that soon enough. Every hour that passes where I deny him his right to my sanity makes it worse for the people I care about. He perfectly staged his world in order to conduct my fall. And I have to fall, Emily. Stay away, my dearest niece. Stay as far away from Deceto as you can. Someday you may understand what I've done. May God forgive me. Farewell, Jeremy Hartwood. So we know that um, Jeremy is not completely crazy here, right? Uh, well, I mean, he is crazy, but he's not crazy. So the Derceto staff and patients are kind of part of a cult. They're almost like a Cthulhu Lovecraftian cult, right? Uh, they are worshiping and paying homage essentially to that tree that's in the middle of Dersetto in the conservatory that turns out to be from Lovecraft stories. Uh, Shub, I'm going to call him Shubrath, okay? Because I don't want to say the middle part because it's, it's, it, it pays homage to Love, Lovecraft's shitty personhood. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. Shubrath. Uh, is essentially like the big bad we learned at the end of playing as um, uh, Edward Carnby, right? And so they are essentially trying to awaken him. And then the Dark Man also has... Jeremy also has something else going on with the Dark Man, right? So, okay. And we don't have any other objectives. All right, let's go. So uh, she's engaged. That's... uh, We didn't know that before. We didn't have that info. We didn't know a lot of her backstory other than the fact that Jeremy's her uncle. So. They haven't. There was a note. Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into DeSetto. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught, but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Khan be inside so he can handle the situation. By the way, I'm an idiot and I realize this. I don't think we ever talked about this. The woman that we hear talking <laughs> and typing these objective notes to us, it's Beauregard. The writer 
Catherine Beauregard, I believe is her name. Or I know her last name is Beauregard. I think her first name is Catherine. The writer that's staying at Dorsetto, that's who that is that's writing and talking to us for the objectives. Anyway, just, just a heads up. <laughs> Carmel, uh, Carmel Acorn has been a channel member for four months at the cadet level, said I had a blast catching up on the VODs from this week. Carmel Acorn, you legend. Thank you so much for the four months worth of support. I know you've been a viewer and a watcher too for a lot longer, so I appreciate everything. I'm glad you enjoyed all the VODs this week. I had to flip my schedule and change it around a lot this week just because I had kidney stones slash stones, I don't know. And uh, so it was a weird week. It was a weird, hard week for me, but... I made it. I made it. I got stuff out, so that was good. Ralgor, welcome to the stream. James, welcome. I saw um, SWTB Aaron earlier. Good to have you as well. I hope you're doing good. Leon, good to see you. Disabstracted said, I'm fortunate to be here. Love you guys. If I could help, let me know. Back surgery this summer. Marine Corps and wrestling in college was not kind. I'm close to paralyzed, but I'm thriving. Disabstracted. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm wishing you speedy recovery. And uh, a pain-free time as much as possible, just subtracted. So good to have you, though, man. As always, how am I feeling today? I feel so. I feel good. I feel. I would say my pain level is like fluctuating between a one and or two. I a one or a two. I think I I've either gotten rid of all the kidney stones or kidney stone fragments, or I uh, and I'm just like healing. You know, like sore, like because my insides got ripped up from them, uh, or I have maybe just like a really, really small fragment or two that I still needs to go, but I feel pretty good. It's not bad at all. Just a little bit of discomfort and pressure and a, 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 more often than normal urge to pee, but I feel okay today. So that's good. I had a busy day though. As we go, I'll, I'll pepper in stories about everything that went on today. So, but I'm good. That's why I started streaming a little bit late. Long day. Josh G, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Junior with the $10 stream elements donation. Junior, you legend. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Dude, can we, I get some extra ammo, please? Because we know how this goes. And uh, I'm going to need some bolates. I'm going to so need a lot of bolates. I, I need a... Where was it the flashlight somewhere over here before? It's in here. Yep. Here we go. I was supposed to be able to see that. What's this? <laughs> what happens? Can you can you progress and like never pick up the flashlight? I don't want to find out because I want it. All right. No, because you need the key. So you're you're forced to get the flashlight. Okay. That makes sense. They can't have you go without the flashlight in a survival cosmic horror game. They can't do that to you. I for I. Okay. I forgot that that happened. All right, let's go. I did have the infinity stones hiding away. There's the whatever the creature is that's hiding in that. It never comes out. It just stares at you and makes noises. Right? Shut up. Oh, I ran away. You son of a did a bitch. Uh, uh, can I put the ladder up here? Is the ladder here yet? Oh, that's interesting. There's no ladder here yet. This is going to be locked. I don't think I'll be yep. able to get in there. I need the uh, bolt cutters for that. <clears throat> Not going to be able to get this because I need the water hose to raise hmm. the water level, right? So. All right. Here. Ooh. Did it reset my settings again? I'm going I'm to stab. I'm going I'm to stab somebody if it did. I'm going to stab somebody in the game. Uh, no, it didn't. All right, all that's off. Okay. Okay, we're good then. All right, here's, here's Shubrath. We're gonna hear... Oh, God, that was birds. Okay. This must be older than Dorsetto. They've built the house around it. Yeah. We can hear some dark whispers here. Maybe not yet. Not yet. No whispering yet. Just a weird wind. Miss Paulo became a channel member at the squadron level. Miss Paulo, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You and Paulo with the next level support. All right. No creepy whispers yet. Gotcha.
I'm gonna assume I, I if I remember correctly, I can't get in up here, right? I can't go into the like setting room or drawing room or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I can't go yet. I gotta go down to the servants. Okay. Colonel Mustard in the conservatory with El with the Eldridge Horror. <laughs> Yo, they could make an Alone in the Dark clue game. They could. They could make an, uh, uh, an Alone in the Dark version of that. Absolutely. That's actually not half bad idea. That's a pretty good idea, this. Lexotech. Oh, so alcohol heals her as well. Interesting. Okay. I was expecting her to have a separate heal item. Because we know that the uh, Carnby was a little bit of an alky. All right, what do we got in here? Everybody freeze. Pistol? We got some pistol bullets? Family by Every family day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures, Pictures of, of dust. dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. She's talking about God, I think. I've started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Of the voodoo. I've long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but... It's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small Chris, pocket Chris. of Gris Gris. Oh, Gris Gris, Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you our heavenly father i am so grateful for the words you gave mr hartwood we will sing your praises at saint john's eve the world will be blessed soon again uh -huh. only the sacrifices of the old testament compare to your demands let it be the truth a mother of earth wood and dirt a mother of a thousand young right. sacred sand one dollar black cat oil dollar fifty dollar Devil fifty shoe strings a quarter a quarter that makes two dollars and seventy five cents madam what was that you were telling the doctor a goat without horns what does that mean ah you must have misheard me madam i said no such thing Please, I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Uh -huh, mm. Sure. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. That's, that's Shubroth. That's what she's talking about, kind of, right? Or at least I think. She, that's what she overheard. Um, I don't think it's the exact same game, Melon Wow. Melon Wow, Cow how do you say your name? Sorry. It's, uh, uh, so I do know that based on the Steam page description, that the interactions and, like, what people say to you and how the story unfolds is different. It is, th it is the same overarching story. But like your experience and how people talk to you, how they interact with you, and some of the information that you learn is different than Edward Carnby's playthrough. You don't get the full story until you play both, if that makes sense. Scott Mason, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yorkie Queen Shorts, welcome. Good to have you. So this is kind of like you, you kind of have to play both to get like the full picture of everything, right? Oh, by the way, I wanted to check... Now that we're playing as her, some of the forbidden knowledges, we didn't, we had completed them, um, but we didn't, like, it didn't tell us what the forbidden knowledge was or the secret objective. And I think that's because we had to been, here we go. Yep. We had to be Elizabeth or Emily. I don't know why I want to call her Elizabeth. We had to be Emily. Um, so like this one, a go without horns, we finished this, but like, it never told us what it was. Apparently it's a secret objective. 
And it says, Edward had heard the whispers for years. When he lived in Brooklyn, it was only on rare occasions. Like when he as a child climbed that tall tree in Central Park. Or when he almost drowned in the Hudson River trying to save his despaired mother. The whispers became more common as he moved to New Orleans, but still rare enough to be ignored. Now as he walks the halls of Dersetto, he knows what is calling him. He doesn't want to admit it, but the dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice the Cabri San Corn. So we're learning more about Edward Carnby's story, right? So he has always heard, I guess, the call of the dark ones or the ancient ones ever since he was a kid. Interesting. I don't know what the secret objective yet is. Now that we have these three, when we get to a certain point in the story with Elizabeth, we'll be given a secret, uh, secret objective, a new objective to complete that'll do something for us. Cream won with the five gifted channel memberships and those went to Scooter's Garage, Voided Soul, Gavin Elliott, Gypsy King, and Luxy Funky. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of Cream One. Cream One, you rock star. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Anyway, I wanted to see if uh, some of the Laganappies now had information uncovered, and they do. A Great Depression. As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was, of course, no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his, on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. As the world moved... Okay, we could I could have played that. That's another... No, it just says forbidden knowledge. So, the last forbidden knowledge we had, it unlocked the shotgun cabinet. So, this might, like, unlock a weapon or something for uh, Emily here. And then what else do we have? What did you expect from them? You created too much. There wasn't any room to breathe. Your reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did. Perhaps you cared the most of all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves. And that is why you had to die. So, is this talking about Catherine Beauregard, the writer who's staying at their seto? You created too much. Is this all a story written by her that came to life? This is... I feel like I don't understand the full implications of that yet. <laughs> but I have a lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts. All right. Lost Children unlocks the shotgun cabinet. Uh, Prisoner of Ice. We read this at... So we actually were able to read this as Cardenby. So we read that last time. Uh, Forbidden Knowledge. Crescent City. Show bonus text doesn't work yet for me. Forbidden knowledge, unspeakable cults. Can't show any bonus text right now. Okay, that's everything. All right. Sorry, guys. The rest must have been Carnby's, or we're not at a point in the story yet where the game wants us to read them. All right. I think it's funny when I do this. You guys are talking about the tip of the finger, and my finger's, like, super blurry because I have uh, focus on face on. So I have, there's a setting on most webcams that like it focuses in on your face and it, I have mine set to not do super blurry, but it kind of blurs the background a little so that like the person is more in focus. Anyway, I have that setting on because it, it makes me look clearer, right? Um, but so I think it's funny. I started doing this cause I think I did it like one time and then my finger was like, so my finger looks weird. It looks like it has permanent motion blur anyway. I don't think I ever told you guys why I do that because I just I just think it's funny. <clears throat> Nine inch colas, welcome, good to have you. Mr. Lolo, welcome, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Allie, what's up? Welcome. You had to figure out you also don't understand what the forbidden puzzles are? Yeah. I'm not sure. I would have liked more of an explanation on, on Laganappies and some more detail on the connection between the two stories. They kind of brush over that really quick, like in, when you first start your first playthrough. Uh, I came in from over there, didn't I? So I need to go in this door? Or did I come in this door? Uh, I, yeah, I... Wait, hold on. I'm 
was so good. No, I came from there. Right? Oh my god, I'm turned around already. Uh, no, no. Uh, this is the way I'm supposed to go. No, no, no. I came from here. Because that was the room with the Bible in it. So I need to go this way. That's right. Yeah, here we go. All the rats. All right, this is where the boiler is, right? I didn't think this would be open yet. Oh, the key is the other door down here. That's right. We're just gathering bullets. Give me all the bullets. The bullets are spawning right away for Miss I need the key. Emily. All right. That's all down here then. Maybe I just have blurry fingers. I might. You never know. Maybe I got blurry finger syndrome. All right. So let's talk here. Let's talk here real quick about what took up a good four hours of my day today. It doesn't look safe. <laughs> so last year, we have a deck on our house, right? Not a huge deck, but a, a, a deck. And it has stairs, you know, down into the backyard. Last year, a raccoon started coming. Please do not. A raccoon started coming onto our deck and pooping, dropping big, t big piles of shit right next to our door. Like literally the corner, but to where the where the deck meets the house, the corner, and and our door opens right out, and and it was doing it like every night, like we'd clean it up, and then it was doing it again, and so I started, I like my wife and I started looking online. We were figuring out like how do we stop the raccoon, so we put like, and I know it's a raccoon because my camera, my neighbor has uh like ring cameras outside, and part of it can see my backyard at night, and so we and. And well, he was having the same problem at his deck for a while too. And so anyway, it was on, it was on, it was on ring camera <laughs> doing it. <laughs> and so anyway, um, uh, we put baby gates out to try to stop it at the top and the bottom of the stairs. Raccoon didn't, didn't give a fuck. He just climbed right over the baby gates, right? So finally last year, what we had to do, I'm not even kidding about this. I read online that raccoons are habitual poopers. So they like to find a hard, flat surface, kind of like a deck, and they poop in the same spot every day at nighttime. And they will keep coming back and pooping in the same goddamn place unless something forces them to go somewhere else. So anyway, we could not, anything reasonable we tried to do, like putting baby gates up at the steps, um, the raccoon would just like, I don't know, somehow he'd Houdini his way up onto the deck still. Um, <clears throat> and we were like, fuck. So we had to get my neighbor, this is when I talked to my neighbor one day, I was outside and I was like, yeah, this raccoon keeps shitting on our deck. And, and, <laughs> He was like, yeah, I had the same problem and it's on my ring camera and he shared the videos. And and then he goes, look, look, come here. Let me show you what I did. And he takes me into his backyard. This dude had taken chicken wire and literally wrapped it around his deck steps, like really thin, like zero gauge chicken wire. So it wouldn't hold the raccoon's weight and wrapped it pretty much around half of the steps going up his deck so that the raccoon couldn't go up his deck and take a dump. So then he did that. So then the raccoon moved from his house to my house to take a dump. And so then he was laughing and he was like, I got some more chicken wire. He was like, let's get, let's take it. Let's go over to your deck steps and we'll do the same thing. And I was like, all right. So he helped me do our steps right last year. Well, motherfucker, if I don't step outside today, right? It recently turned spring here. I step outside today, smell it, turn, look down. Sure enough. There's the same looking pile of shit from last year, fucking raccoon. So I'm like, God damn it. So anyway, I ordered some chicken wire from Lowe's, went and picked it up today, borrowed the staple gun from my neighbor and <laughs> texted him. It was like the goddamn raccoons back again, dude. And <laughs> my wife and I had to like, you know, if you've ever worked with chicken wire, it's not the easiest sometimes, right? And you got to wire cut it and it like, you have to like bend it out the way you want it and stuff. So anyway, we had to chicken wire our fucking deck steps again. Now I can't use the goddamn steps on my deck to go down because I got to leave it. I got to leave it wrapped up for a couple weeks. So the raccoon finds a new place to take his dump. Goddamn raccoon. Anyway, <laughs> if I didn't live in a, if I didn't live in a neighborhood, if I didn't live in a neighborhood with other houses close by and children around that raccoon would have met my rifle is what would have happened. 
fucking raccoon hey, dude that thing is big too on the videos that my neighbor had from last year the thing is it's like a it's like a fucking it's like a mid-sized dog like it's massive and like i'll tell you what too there were a couple of poops last time that my wife and i were looking at last year where i was like i'm not sure if that if a person didn't come up here and take a shit on our deck dude like for real it's ridiculous man so anyway the raccoon better move on because my wife and i did some excellent chicken wiring of the steps today but anyway they took they took way too long <laughs> to do all that not planning on having to do that in my day we had other stuff going on today and other stuff planned for today so we had to take time out to do that fucking raccoon please do not touch the boiler it is working after all while the sabotage has caused a leak only the decorative plate has been completely ruined let's wait for mr chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak mr waits you know, too, I, I don't know if raccoons, how, what diseases they carry or if they do, but like, you know, our dog Ruby recently got sick and what she got is leptospirosis, which is something that deer carry. And we have a lot of wildlife around our house and it's a bacterial infection and it's spread through urine or feces of the animal. And we were talking to the vet and we were like, well, how do we prevent her from getting it? And he was like, well, try to keep her away from common areas where deer are. And we were like, well, great, because that's like everywhere outside of our house so he was like he was like yeah then if that's the case there's not really much you could do he's like you you're not going to be able to see deer pee or where they peed so i mean she's vaccinated but so i was like we like work like we don't want him doing it obviously because you don't want poop on your deck but also too like you know you don't want the dog like walking out there and like sticking its nose in it or you know my two-year-old going oh dude, dude what's this you know so Got to clean it up and got to try to keep them away. Fucking God, dude, though. I just, <laughs> my wife was joking. She was like, we just got to set up one night and watch for when it comes. And then when it comes, open the door and let the dog out. <laughs> I was like, no, if if she catches it and kills it, I don't want to have to clean up the dead raccoon. She was joking, though. Kind of. Hmm. All right, we need the plate for this. Anyway, that's the raccoon story. That's the first story down. I need a trap. They love peanut butter too. See, I see. I thought of when I was researching last year about raccoons and why it was doing this and everything, and I read like how to trap them and stuff. And you know, you can buy a trap, not that expensive. I don't want to deal with the live raccoon though. Even if it's just me having to call animal control and be like, "Hey, I trapped a raccoon that was shitting on my deck. Can you come take it somewhere?" Like, I don't want to have to go through all that. I'd rather just do something so the raccoon fucking leaves us alone. I get you, though. It's a smart idea. It's not a bad idea. But I just don't want to have to deal with a live raccoon pissed off in a cage. Pissing on the back of my deck or something until animal control decides to come out. You've caught them. At See, I also, I don't want to relocate. I don't want to, I don't want to do all that. You guys are much nicer than me. I have no... They, they, I live in an area that is 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 you know not super city-ish and we have some woods and stuff and I just they need to stay there <laughs> and we can stay here <laughs> hey what's up Drac Ice? welcome to the stream Misty good to have you I hope you're doing good thanks for jo joining uh Misty uh my dog is vaccinated for leptospirosis it's like one of the number one vaccines that vets recommend but uh, our vet told us, and just like uh, your doctor should tell you when you get vaccinated, vaccines are not vaccines are not 100% foolproof. Um, you can still get whatever illness you're vaccinated against. But what vaccines do is they highly, highly decrease your chances. And also, being vaccinated means that if you do get it, you have a less severe case. If you don't know anything about leptospirosis, leptospirosis is deadly to dogs. So it kills like 30 or 40 percent of animals that get it especially dogs so what my vet said is because we had her vaccinated it probably saved her from having to be boarded at the vet for a week or two or literally saved her life if we didn't have her vaccinated from lepto it would have been much much worse than it is so luckily we we did do that it also too We've only had her for like two and a half months, right? So she had only been vaccinated against Lepto for like three or four weeks. And the vet told us 
normally it takes about two to three weeks for your full for the vaccination to kick into full effect right so yeah lepto is pretty nasty lepto sporosis by the way you can also get it as a human it is transferable animal to human deer to human and dog to human so <clears throat> a nasty little infection that messes with your liver. All right, we got the map of Dorsetto. Oh, what's this? It's a map. It's a map. And the piazza key, the pizza key. We got the, the pizza key. Oh, the piazza key doesn't work there. We need the medicine box key. All right. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it okay. turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Nine Inch Colas, welcome to the stream. Thanks for Did you know that certain breeds of dog cannot have lepto because it can kill them? I did not know that. No. The vet didn't say anything to us about that. So hopefully our dog is not that breed. We did do, though, recently, about a week ago, I did. There's this, like, doggy DNA test thing called Embark, which our vet said, you know, they just said, like, because we asked. We were like, is there a test you could do to tell what breeds our dog is? Because we got her from the shelter and she's a hound mix. And we were like, we were just really curious. And the vet was like, well, there's not like we can, but it's really expensive. She was like, I'd recommend you just purchase um, Embark, E-M-B-A-R-K. It's like a hundred and she said it's like $150, but it goes on sale for like $99. It's the same thing as like the human test, essentially. But, you know, you swab the inside of their mouth and then send it off and then they tell you breeds. But the vet said you can also give them our information and they will send us breed and genetic health dispositions. So like if she's genetically disposed for, you know, some type of doggy problem, uh, they will they'll share that information and tell the vet so that we can like, I don't know, give her supplements to help head it off, you know, or whatever. So need the key. Uh, we did that. I swabbed her like a week ago and sent it off and I just got like a email message today saying that you can track like lets you track it every step of the way, right? And uh it's they just got it at the lab on uh on Friday. So within another week or two I should know what breeds Ruby is and everything. I saw Dracice asked how she was. She's doing great, man. She's got like, I think like another five days or six days of antibiotics. Um, but she's was outside today rolling around in deer pee again. Cause you know, she wants lepto. No, just, she was outside wallowing in the grass today and chasing after the kids. So she's doing good. She's really good. But yeah, well, I, we were dying. I guess I, to answer anybody's question, I spent a stupid amount of money. I spent, I caught it on sale. I spent $99 to figure out what breeds of dog she is. Because I just wanted to know. Plus, they could help us health-wise, oh. right? That, that's, that's what I was telling myself. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was telling the wife. She was like, oh, we don't have to spend the money. And I was like, well, we get the health information, right? That can help the vet. So why not, you know? Uh, all right. This is the door. No, it's this door over here that lets Carmby in. But before we do that, can we get anything else? She has some pity in her. At least I think so. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. When I get the results, I'll tell you what breed she is. We will find out. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. 
Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has Here, suffered sir. greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a... Okay, we've heard that note before. So I'm skipping it. It's really long. Anyway, it talks about the Great Depression, American companies bankrupting, and then the other thing it talks about is Catherine Beauregard, who is convalescing at their seto, but she has passed away. She's the author who's reading us our objective notes, right? And it talks about she was working on a motion picture, which we later find out is named Slaughter Gulch, I think. I need the key. That's what that note covers. Dr. Gray is not going to be in his office, right? Nope. Or, I mean, we're not going to be able to get in there. Ooh, I slipped through that, baby. What happens if I hit the bell? Nothing happens, right? Because no, nobody's back there. Yeah, okay. All right, let's let Karn be in, and then the uh, the maid lady, the kitchen woman, is going to yell at us, right? She's going to be like, don't you do that! Wait, don't. No, it's different. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwell? This Hartwick? is different. Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Oh, no, Don't it's you not. worry, it's Max. The same. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why the are you police? here? Oh, no, wow. I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. The I'll dialogue is different here. Wait here and don't touch anything. Why <laughs> she come back and look at us? I'm watching you. You want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. So previously, Carnby goes up to Jeremy's room and he like he he like tells the lady he's doing it like he's very brash. And Elizabeth goes to talk to Dr. Or, sorry, Elizabeth. Why do I want to call her that? Emily goes to talk to Dr. Gray. It looks like this time we're both going to Jeremy's room and Grace asked us to come. That's not what happened last time. Thank you. But remember, Carnby is uh, an unreliable perspective because he's mm. um, he was a Let's look around see what we can find. At Dersetto and, and convalescing himself. So this is a little different, I think. If I remember correctly, I might be misremembering. Kathy B, welcome to the stream. Hey, uh, Melon Conwow. How do, do you want to tell? How should I pronounce your name? I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't know where to say what. So my apologies for but, for butchering it probably. But with the twenty five dollar stream elements donations that keep up the awesome streams, my best to you and the fam. Thank you so much, uh, Melon Con Wow. I really appreciate it. You rock. All right. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Locked box. We need the other piece, right, to be able to do that. We don't have the key for his. We get that later. There's his book. Let's talk. Let's talk to Carnby first, though. I'm curious if the dialogue here is different. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. It is different. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes. Okay. You you want to give me any other guidance? <laughs> I've read about police analyzing teeth marks and blood samples and fingerprints to find criminals. Is that something you can do? <laughs> you need a lab for no, that. No, that sounds more like the way the Bureau of Investigation does things. But, you know, if you do find teeth or blood, it's still worth mentioning. <laughs> I mean, I would think so, right? If you find blood, let me know. 
<clears throat> we should talk to Dr. Gray when we're done here. He's the one who runs the hospital. He must know something about what's happened. Yeah, I just want to get a feel of what we're dealing with here first. Of course. Yeah, so these scenes are playing out <clears throat> a little different, which is interesting. All right, this Every is the commonplace the book. We open. don't need to listen to this because we listened to this and referenced this book about a hundred fucking times. This book is very important. We have seen all of this. I'm just going to peruse it real quick and make sure. Yeah, it talks about Tarawayo, right? Which is where Juan is. It's a, it's a safe place that Jeremy's created in his head, right? And then it talks about how to fix the boiler, blah, 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 his talisman and how his talisman allows him to travel places, right? And then it talks about uh, how the residents and the staff of Dersetto have become dangerous because they're essentially a cult for Shubrath. That's what I'm calling him instead of his like full name. And then it talks about the dark man and the contract they entered. And then it's got this, which helps you solve some puzzles, right? So I remember all of that. And we've got the tile for this puzzle over here, which we will now do. And I actually think this solution is in the commonplace book, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious what it is, but if you needed a reference, I think it's over there. Right? And this is the tree, essentially. Right? It's the Shubrath tree that's in the conservatory at the Seto. This painting of uh, you ever Jeremy is creepy like as hell. Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? What's up, Lily? Welcome to the stream. Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Why does she want to take it? She seems like fascinated slash horrified by it for some reason. Jeremy looks like just mad lad to the max in that picture, doesn't he? Same thing happened to Edward, though. He steered into it for a while. I found this tube as well. Should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it, or should I? Miss Hartwood? Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Um, okay. Is, is Edward going to come with us? Cause come on, I don't want to be here all night. He went up here by himself in the Edward playthrough, and we went to Dr. Gray by ourselves. Detective Carnby? W where did... Oh, and now she's in... Now we're in the older Dersetto. We have been transported. Or we're not even in Dersetto. We're... We are, but we aren't. We're in, like, uh, the town, right? <laughs> what on earth is happening? What is this place? Yeah. It's fucking weird, bro. Investigate the corner store. Okay, we gotta go see Baptiste. Hey, Disubstracted with the 10 gifted channel memberships. Those went to Sumit, uh, Tom, Tomio, uh, Ziggy Dot, Some Thoughts, Corey Kerr. Who else? Mr. Pinky. We have always lived in the castle, Mary Cat. AM, Jade Devon, Julie, and some other people I'm probably missing because I missed all of this. Yes. Disubstracted. You rock star. Thank you so much. I forgot to have the camera and stuff on. I'm so sorry, guys. I cut it in the cutscene, I think, and forgot to put it back. All right. We're going to run into our first enemies here. Oh, that's right. We still need the key for that. We have been transported. Ooh, spooky. What just happened? 
got caught on the stairs, dude. My leg like went into the third or fifth, no, the fifth dimension. <gasps> yeah. All right. Is there a melee weapon around here? Or do I just, I just got to do it with the lattes. Okay. All right. An asshole, man. He took. I missed. I missed my like she third had headshot. She killed the horrid thing, but what was it? And would there be more? Emily had never yep. seen the French Quarter quite like this, dark and alien. The only possible refuge she could see from Take care, Jeremy's balcony was a I bit of it. light coming from a corner store. Have a good one. You were about to ask about the what face the cam, yeah. Thing? It was it was just me. It was me being like, Fuck you. Oh, I didn't really need to Hey, bitch. Oh god, dude. I missed a couple shots there. That was a bear. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no, I broke the game. Uh, I seriously don't know how I'm going to get out of this without reloading. Or just keep dodging. Oh fuck, I got stuck. What? Man, we've had a few bugs, haven't we? Okay, now I'm stuck on the tables. I just keep moving myself forward here. God damn it, dude. How do I get out? Get out! Okay, where? How long ago was my last save? Uh, at the French Quarter. <sighs> Fuck, nine fifty-five. No, that's not right. The timing is wrong on that. We wouldn't be at the French Quarter. All right, hold on. God damn it! I can't believe I broke the game again. Ah! Yeah, me and bushes have a problem, dude. All right, I'm gonna try to reload. Fuck it. We know everything we just did. Let's see. We're at the French Quarter. We might have to fight these again. I'm gonna have to be careful not to dodge into the bushes. Yeah. Fuck, dude. All right. No biggie. Can't believe I did that. I almost got stuck on the stairs here earlier, too. All right. Headshots. What the hell was that thing? Is this gun not as powerful? <laughs> Asshole, you bitch! God damn. Is he alive? Why did he die like that, dude? <laughs> I dropped him to his knees. All right. No more getting stuck up bushes. I use the hallway to my advantage. I got a gash light too. I need to use that. It's the plants that tear attack all over. Yeah, dude. Ooh. Bullets? Bullets? Bulates? No. I can't go that way. Yes, I'm I'm well I'm well. I'm well. I'm I'm well aware, Emily. This can't be. Do do do. Is there another one of those things around here? I'm going to hit it in the face with a freaking brick. Hello? I don't remember. Nope. I think we're in the clear. Okay. I'm going to stop carrying that thing around. All right. I'm just going to run around and gather any bullets and uh, go that medicine way. before we go into the... Uh, what is it called again? Uh, Johnny the Conqueror's store. The voodoo store. To see Mr. Baptiste. Okay, there are enemies this way. I'm not supposed to be here yet, though, am I? 
Yeah, this is where we come with Miss Jackson. Or to go to Miss Jackson's place, right? I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. All right, come on. What? <laughs> fuck, dude. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, hold on. We're going to see if we can't... Uh... Oh, nope. Where's uh, where's that thingy to throw? Oh, there's two? All right, I don't have the ammo for this. One of them is hurt, though. Enough that I could probably kill him with one of those thrown things. Fuck you. And that's what I was trying to do. Because there's an achievement for that. And I just want to do it because I think it'll be funny. Alright, I needed to bring him over here so that I could run down here to get another one of those things. Also, there's Bolates in here. One Bolate. Here we go. Did that not kill him? Oh, I missed! I missed! Alright, we're gonna go in the store. Fuck this. I took too long and more came. Normally, there's only that, uh, those, those other two. I'm not wasting all my ammo this early. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, the reload is slow. That's intentional, though. That's like classic survival horror. Make the reload take forever. In the final fight as Edward against uh, Shubrath, that fucking, the ammo reload thing, especially the shotgun... That's what I think. That's the reason I died a couple of times. Is because I couldn't reload fast enough. Oh my god. Emily. Is that you? That is not how he reacted Batiste? to Carnby. How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto. Looking for my uncle Jeremy. Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? Okay. What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something. But in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Truer words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss, Miss Marcus. Emily. That was her engagement ring. The guy's name. It is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Judge knows <clears throat> how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. He was a lot more forthcoming and gave a lot more information to Emily after body slamming her on the table and almost smashing her face in, though. <clears throat> welcome to the stream, Michelle and Rooster. Good to have you. Uh, Transmu Tech, welcome. Good to have you as well. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Everyone else in your computer. I like it. I mean, yeah, that's true. We are technically in your computer or in your phone via some electrical signals, right? Also, uh, uh, Care Bear, is that how you say your name? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I know I'm butchering that. I'm so sorry. I can't pronounce shit. Uh, what else you got to say, Baptiste? Are you staying here? For a while. Want to see if Jeremy shows up. Okay. Your sister, she also works at Dorsetto? Yeah, she the one who got his job. So I don't understand why they need jobs as orderlies at Dorsetto if, like, is this not his store? 
Or is he just coming here because we're in Be Jeremy's careful. mind? Okay. You said it, miss. I think he's here because we're in Jeremy's mind. Elder God, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. All right. Can't go out that way, right? Because it's locked from the other side, I think. How many bullets do I have? I only have 10. So really, I have enough to take out two. Avoid combat, though, a little bit. This gun does not seem as powerful as Edward Carnby's revolver. So I I have a feeling I'm going to have to be a little bit uh, more careful with ammo related to my pistol. Yeah, and then we got that thing down there, which we don't have. Uh, I'm going to need all 10 bullets. I forgot about that thing. I think I think you have to take it out. So, oh, I do have a pipe though. I could I could beat it and then shoot it. My weapon broke. Is it not dead? Why is it What? That's the second one that has done this. Why are they doing this? Is it glitching? Or is it... Is it... Is it, like, different in Emily's playthrough? They didn't do that as Edward. So weird, dude. Oh, man. I gotta take this thing out. I got 10 pistol bullets. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not confident that that's enough to kill this thing. Thank God she isn't wearing heels. I know, right? All right. Man, yeah, seven bullets. Okay, that's ridiculous. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god, dude. I have like no ammo left. I can't I can't fight. I don't have enough ammo to kill anything else. That is crazy, dude. That's, that's the, what do the kids say nowadays? That's cray cray. Is that what they say? Or is that like 10 years old now at this point too? That's cray cray, dog. All right, we got more bullets. I can't go that way. Yes, I know. Rooster with the $2 super chat said a little help to keep you from the nine to five rooster. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go back to, uh, the job pre IGP job. Not that there was anything wrong with it. It was a good gig for having a nine to five, but uh, I would rather do this and hang out with you guys. <laughs> Frostbite mobile gamer. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Appreciate you being here. Brian Maddox. Welcome. Thanks for joining. No need to apologize, Brian. You come when you're ready. A wizard is never late. All right. There's just that, that fuck up there, right? Or is there any down here? I forgot. There's a bunch of ammo around here, though. I remember that. Yeah, there, I, I knew it. Hey, what's up? What's up, baby? All right. I think I can hit it? I couldn't hit it as Carnby. I hit it! <laughs> you fuck. Come get me, bitch. I'll take you out. I'd rather take you down in the open than up there. Is there another throwable? There is. Oh, is that a... count as killing it with a throwable i threw two. Oh, it's all charred too i gotta make better use of throwables this time around because i didn't realize until like two-thirds of the way through the last playthrough that some of the throwables were uh were moth tails yes i'm saying that
they kind of remind you of the necromorphs from dead space they do a little bit yeah but they're modeled after the original alone in the dark games uh creatures from 91 and 92 so these predate dead space dead space creatures might have been inspired and resident evil 7's mold and everything might have been inspired by this as well ah! fuck dude oh my god all right come on bitch i think i have more throwables down here so we're gonna start playing smart is it coming it can't get down the stairs oh that missed all right here's what we're gonna do where's the oh is your baby stuck Now this is a brick throwable, right? We're gonna get that achievement. Wow, he's stuck and helpless. God, I wish you could walk slow. I wish you could pick up the throwables and fucking like put them in inventory and then use them. Maybe, maybe limit how many you could carry, right? Oh, oh, okay, sure. Is there not another one out here? Fuck, dude. Damn it, did I use them all? Son of a bitch! Alright, whatever. He's still not dead after four bullets to the head? This gun sucks. Five? It took six bullets to the head. Dude. What the hell, dude? Oh, yeah, save. Thank you, guys. That's a good point. Um... I can't overwrite Carnby saves, so I got to do new, um, new Emily saves. I keep wanting to call her Elizabeth. Why do I want to call her Elizabeth? Like, where did I even, I don't know where I came up with that. I have no clue why. All right. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Emily found this waking dream disturbingly persuasive. If this was Jeremy's world, what did that mean? What did that was mean? the Hartwood family suffering a literal curse? Was the dark man, that ghoulish specter haunting Jeremy, an actual supernatural being? Emily pushed her thoughts aside and focused. She needed to find out about the talisman and get back to Desetto. I do have to stop dodging so close to the bushes. I'm going to get stuck again. <laughs> oh, the things you do when you have a when you have a buggy a buggy game. And that's the talisman. Okay, so it looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. This is interesting. So I wonder I was wondering how this was going to play out because in Edward's playthrough he comes here, he gets the talisman while Emily is talking to Dr. Gray. Now I've gotten the talisman from here, so Edward's not going to have it. I wonder how that changes things. All right. We've read I've read that description with you guys before. It's not different. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. It is. We just need the code to input I wonder if it's the same or if it's a different code. I wish I remembered it off the top of my head. I don't. There's a clue here somewhere to uh, tell us what number we need. Look for the combination. We don't have the key for that. <clears throat> oh, it's in um, it's in the it's in the commonplace book, right? Uh, blah, 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 commonplace book or talisman schematics three five eight. There we go. Yep. Talisman with black sunstone, an ancient navigational tool found inside uh, Sherni. How do you say? Oh, Talisman no. with black sunstone. Let's hear. Let's hear somebody else an talk about it. Ancient navigational tool found inside a chenier along the Bayou Tonk. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil. A vagabond massacred devil. Massacred its finders. Three numbers are needed. To span, to span the bridge, bridge between that's the Jeremy talking. Dream and all right all right we know the numbers three five eight i'm not sure what numbers i should use maybe there's something in jeremy's notes 
All right, three, five, eight. This is gonna take us back to their seto, I believe. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? No, this is here, right? Huh? No, oh yes, it opens the way back to their seto. That's right, okay. Let's go. Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. <clears throat> Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. Interesting. It warped us into the conversation you with Dr. Grant. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I'm not feeling good. All right. You know what? I'll I don't seem that. to have Some made alcohol. much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Oh, Whatever damn. you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seems certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe this guy's an asshole, dude. Back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. His face just creeps me out. I don't know why. Do you know where he could have gone? <laughs> no, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? That's a well, good question to ask. Think. He is an anxious man, depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy oh, uses the dark man as a psychological that? scapegoat Why is he leaning to avoid over facing us? the truth that he is in like any that. way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy... Martina, well, I see your donation. I'll dress I here in a minute. I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Say what, bitch? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. That guy's the head of the Shubrath, um, pull, I would say. I would put him at the head. Chapter one down on to chapter two. Chapter one's the shortest chapter though, so. All right. Detective Carnby. God, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Nope. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's. I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. <laughs> so take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. 
I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. It's, it's very interesting. I'm not crazy, detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. I find it very interesting that like the roles are reversed now in this playthrough, right? Because in when you're playing as Carnby, Emily seems to if have her shit together. Like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea. Yep. The place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Yep. All right. Very true, Elizabeth. Or Elizabeth. Why do I do that? Emily. So I like, though, that their roles are almost reversed, right? Because as um em as when you're playing as Carnby, he comes off to Emily as like an alcoholic who's just stumbling around and isn't doing a good job at his investigation. And she seems very put together and like she has no issues. And now it's almost reversed. He seems very focused on the investigation. No sign of his alcoholism, right? He seems like, you know, he's he he's like you know worried that she's slipping into the family madness and emily seems unsure of herself she is you know she's dirty now because she got into the fight she's questioning everything she's like oh maybe there is something to the dark man when before it was like she didn't believe in any of it until like the later chapters so it's a very it's it's like it's like flipped which is cool martina with the 20 dollar euro super chat during uh all of that and she said, hey, Skilly, just want to say thank you for the positive vibes and awesome content. You rock, sir. Martina, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're a legend. Thank you. Thank you. And then we also had Fluffy Kids. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to Paulo, Lavender, Marina, B, Gerald, and J. Lowe. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of Fluffy Kids. Fluffy Kids, you rock star. Thank you. Blurry finger and all. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, by the way, welcome Yeti. I hope you're doing good. Good to have you, man. Appreciate you being here. I missed too. Is somebody getting in trouble earlier? Oh, tisk tisk tisk. Don't be getting in trouble. All right. Uh, I think we could go in here because we have Baptista's key now. But we won't be able to solve the. But maybe we can solve the puzzle because I remember the code to this over here. Saw your notice in the boiler room. In the you boiler know room. Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine yep. cell. All right, we know how to solve that puzzle. We know about getting the valve. Some of the oh, notes have been right different. The Some have been the same. The clock. They take a have look at the well in the I kitchen garden. Yep, we know about that. We don't have to listen to that. So I could speed Dr. run this Elmore a little bit. Lee Gray is DeSetto's all right, so we know all of the patients, right? Because we encountered them all. So we know everybody, right? Uh, uh, McCarthy is still alive, and he's the one who's supposed to watch Grace, the little kid. Uh, Ruth Talent is the one who did the Dark Man symbol to Carnby, right? Jeremy's our uncle that we're looking for. Baptiste, we met him. He's the staff orderly in the uh, store. Uh, Perosi, Elisabetta, she is Jeremy's um, love interest, right? Or they had a fling or something going on. Spoiler, if you didn't watch my Carnby playthrough, she's dead. Uh, Grace Sa Saunders is the little girl. Beauregard is the writer, right? Who is um, narrating our objectives and was convalescing at their seto. And then uh, Charlotte uh, Taboy is also a staff orderly. She is the sister to Baptiste. All right, so no one knew on the list. And listen, I'm, I'm going over all this information for you guys, but also for me, because this is a cosmic horror game and it has psychological horror elements as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some stuff thrown in here and there to fuck with us on this second playthrough, right? So Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. I know the combo 913. I remember that from the playthrough. Because we oh you open it late in game as Carnby. So let's see if I can remember how to do it. It's left, right, left, right? So we would go nine. And then we would do a full rotation back to one. 
And then we would go left again and get to three. Oh, wow. I can't believe I guessed the combination. I must be some... I love how, I love how, I love how they put dialogue in the game. Did you hear the sarcasm in Jodie Comer's uh, voice right there? She was like, oh, wow. I can't believe we guessed the combination. I must be some kind of genius. Because they know that that's breaking the fourth wall, right? Because they know that, of course, you know the combo because you've played it before. That's fucking hilarious. I love that they put that. Hey, look, alone in the, it's an alone in the dark lag nappy. It looks like the I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> All right, hold on. Where was that one at? That that looks like a PC box game for the 91 92 game. That looks like the PC box art. Yeah. Can I can I look at that? Uh, where is it at? I meant to use E to look at it. No, there you go. It's like a burnt up copy though. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, it was dripping with sarcasm. That was great. That was a really well delivered. It was like overly, I think it was on purpose. It was overly dripply. It was overly done, right? Dripping with sarcasm, just to let you know. Lag and Appies carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of Carnby and Emily's campaigns. Yep, we know. Okay, well, we don't have to come back and do that because I remembered the code. Uh, I'm not going to remember everybody's code, though. We have read all of the patient things before. Um, Beauregard is the one who's narrating, right? She's the uh, uh, older writer woman who was working on... I think this is where it tells you she was working on a script with Hollywood for Slaughter Gulch. Maybe it doesn't name it here. But yeah. She was addicted to uh, painkillers, basically. Right? Yep, yep. Then Grace. Everything looks to be the same patient wise as the first one. So. It's all the patient files except for Jeremy's. Okay, here's the problem though. I'm not going to remember the code for every single thing. Not that I need to, but I'm not going to remember the code for everyone. I remember 913, but I don't know why I remembered that. Uh, what's Despite my objective? making a fool of herself in front of Dr. Gray and Detective Conby, Emily felt surprisingly invigorated. She felt absolutely sure that it was her manipulation of the talisman that had brought her back to Decetto. Jeremy mentioned two items in his commonplace book that somehow connected him to two more dreams, or whatever they should be called. If Jeremy had two more worlds open to him, then maybe he would hide there if he was scared. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Sorry, chat. Uh, shit. Uh, these notes are all new, by the way, by Beauregard. They're different than Carnby's, which makes sense. Despite making a fool of herself in front of Dr. Gr okay, maybe I'll just read the rest. Jeremy mentioned two items in his commonplace book that somehow connected him to two or more dreams or whatever they should be called. If Jeremy had two more worlds open to him, then maybe he would hide there if he was scared. Or maybe he would find... Or maybe he found a way to Terra Loa, the place Jeremy so desperately wanted to visit. Excited to follow up on her clues, Emily set out to find the old clock and the boiler. All right, we know where those are. Where are we again? We're here. Okay. <laughs> I could be a bastard, and like every time we encounter a code we need to input or something, we could go pull up the stream where I did it and see if the codes match. I don't, I don't know that we'll do that though because i'd have to scrub through and find each one that might take just as long as just finding the solution but we'll see if i remember anything else as we play <clears throat> you guys are putting the codes in there i'm a pro at those locks now yeah if it is so here's what's gonna happen i have terrible memory i'm gonna remember how to do those locks because we've played this game twice now i'm gonna remember how to do them for like a month and then come ask me in like two months or three months how to do one of those locks again. And I'm going to I'm going to have completely forgotten because I'm not going to have done it anymore. You know, so <laughs> that's how my brain works. If it's information that I don't that uh, like I don't use or I don't need again, I'm just going to completely forget it. My brain's like that never happened. Hmm. 
Uh, it's the old clock. What's that stain? Looks like some this must be the clock mentioned in the commonplace. It's book. the rot. Is it just me or does the rot around the clock look worse? It looks worse. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. Yeah, we need to find two more pieces. The old clock was an intricate machine with eccentric astronomic motifs, but nothing appeared particularly unusual to Emily. But then she discovered a large decorative plate that reminded her of Miss Jackson's ritual bench, where she had configured the talisman to open the door back to Decetto. The clock's plate had unfortunately been sabotaged, but if she could piece the plate back together, she figured she would be able to repeat the yeah, procedure and maybe open up to another world. AJ, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for your joining. Anyone play the rebooted Alone in the Dark for the Xbox 360? I'm so happy for this version of Restored by Faith in this game. I did not. I never played the other Alone in the Darks, uh, which... My understanding is the other Alone in Darks with like the male protagonist dude who's not Edward Carnby, they were loosely connected, but not like a not a full sequel or not like fully connected to the original from 91 and 92 like this game is. I need the key. So um, but I don't I, I never played those. I don't know what happened. I never I, ne I just never got around to playing any of those. Isn't there like three or four of them? There's quite a few of them if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Oscar, what's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, uh, Transmu Tech, yeah. Every, we have a really good community. We have a really nice, really welcoming community. And All the mods people. do a great job of helping me keep it that way. So, yes. Oscar's just messing with you. Emily's here. Emily is 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 here. All right, sorry guys. I just felt that line cracks me up from her. Uh, yeah, we did. This is Jeremy's room. <sighs> Oscar said, "Okay, mostly." Uh, ooh, give me your secrets. Whose room is this again? Whose room are we in? Baptistas, so the staff orderly, the dude that slammed us, body slammed us on the table, almost smashed our face in with an axe. All right, there's nothing in here right now for us. Noel, what's up, Noel? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good, man. Hello? Nope. Yep, those don't get me in here. Grand parlor, I'm not gonna be able to get in here, right? Nope. That is the grand parlor, right? Or is that the mezzanine? It's the mezzanine. All right. Back this way. I want some cheese. Are we talking about cheese now? All right, back downstairs. Going back to the boiler room areas, right? Look at me playing all confidently, like I know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, it's it's like we spent 12 hours with this game already. I'm going this way, right? No, I, I, key. I'm going across and I'm opening the library, right? Yeah, I'm going across and I'm opening the library and then into the small parlor. That's right. Um, yep. Is the ladder down there now? It is. So next time we're out in the garden, we need to put the ladder up. Chat, help me remember that. I don't want to forget that. I already figured that out in the last playthrough. I just want to make sure I don't forget it here. Uh, let's see. I don't think I could do anything up the stairs yet, but let's double check before we go unlock the library. The, the lobber. It's wet shut. Yep. We need the, uh, the paint, the paint, the paint tool. This is Dr. Gray's apartment, right? Private. No entry. <clears throat> Leon, I can't remember if I said hi, man. I hope you're doing good. How's your, uh, how you healing up, bud? Uh, okay. Labber? There's that. This is the labber, right? Yep. But sham. Of mice and men style. Ooh, it's uh it's Miss Ruth. Ruth Talant. She be cray cray. 
She's a Shubrath follower. She does that symbol for the Dark Man. Christy, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. No need to apologize. Cass, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. You've been here, haven't you? I might have said hello already. <laughs> I don't remember. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. Oh, I'm sure you would. You're right. Emily Wait. Hartwood, Come Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth, Ruth Talon. Oh, I'm sorry, Talon. It's not Bucket, it's Bouquet. Bouquet, residents, lady of the house speaking. Nobody's gonna get that reference. Is that Perrick you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so, but I like it. Would you care to share some? <sighs> that smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Oh, well, I, this is, is all like, that you hope for. This is like... Oh. I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. <laughs> How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. <laughs> I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. Oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. Lunacy is one of my family's privileges. This, I love this scene right here so much. This is hilarious. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but Oscar, I don't ding, think ding, I have ding, anything you're correct, sir. to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. Oh, it makes my heart happy that there are so many of you who know keeping up appearances. <laughs> it's a little obscure. It's a little bit of an obscure reference. So for those that don't know that that thing I just did, uh, it's not bucket, it's bouquet, and then bouquet residents, lady of the house speaking. It's a it's a British uh, TV show. It's older. It's much older. I think it was like late 80s, early 90s. They used to play it on PBS channels. Some my dad would watch it, and essentially what it is is it's this like they're not rich, but they're like kind of well off uh, British older couple. Their last name is 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 literally Bucket, but because they're fancy and British and posh, the the old woman, she uh, says it's not pronounced bouquet or bucket. It's pronounced bouquet, uh, even though it's spelled bucket. And uh, she has a husband named Richard. I forgot her first name. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, uh, and Richard is like a retired guy. He's very nice. He's kind of chill and down to earth, but his wife is very like uppity, right? Miss Bouquet is very uppity. She's very uh, kind of snobbish. And she's always like making Richard like do a lot of stuff or go along with a lot of her stuff. And uh, she's like the classic old woman who's like peers out of her uh, like blinds, you know, and like spies on the neighbors or like she thinks the mailman is like scheming against them sometimes or whatever and goes out and bothers him and stuff. Anyway, it's really funny. And then Richard has, uh, or not Richard, uh, she has some family who is like trashy and they have to go and like help the trashy side of her family a lot. And she just gets like so disgusted and fed up with them. Anyway, it's, it's just like this like funny little like like low budget British like old sitcom. Um, if, if you've ever seen Faulty Towers, Faulty Towers is another British thing 
that it's like a sitcom that plays out in a store. Uh, the Office was inspired by Faulty Towers, the British version, I believe. So it's uh, it's in the same vein, kind of, just like different story and characters. Her name is uh, Hyacinth. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Hyacinth Bouquet. Yeah. But anyway, that's a it's, it's hilarious. It's a fucking, it's a really funny show. Uh, so I, I highly recommend it. If you just want something that's like, you don't have to focus too much attention on it. I used to hate it as a kid, but the more my dad watched it, like he would watch it religiously on PBS. The more he watched it and the older I got, the more I enjoyed it. Cause it's just so, it's, it's funny. It's really funny. So, but anyway. Uh, I love that whole, I got, I very much got, the reason I did the impression though is the way Ruth like pronounces her name and like the way she comes off as trying to be like kind of uppity very much reminded me of uh, Hyacinth, Miss Bouquet uh, a little bit. And then also too, this whole, I love the dynamic between them. Like Goober said, like the, <laughs> it was like the, it was whatever the female equivalent it, equivalent is of like a, a dick measuring contest. That's essentially what they just did. Are you reading anything good? A Brightness from Afar by Lord Boleskin? It's actually not bad. You know where Detective Carnby is? Oh, you don't need him. You're doing fine. Oh, sure, Ruth. What else you got to say? I should probably go. Astro Until Kid, what's up? Time, Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, just uh, rewind a little bit, and, uh, and I'll, I'll, I will talk and give you the whole loadout. <laughs> Her sister was called Rose. Yeah, Rose was like this very. Speaking of uh, not Ruth, but uh, the other, what was the other woman character's name in this? Who she's described in the uh, uh, Elizabetta Perosi. Uh, Perosi, who is heart is Jeremy Hartwood's thing. She's described as like a loose woman, right? Not my terminology. Terminology of the twenties and thirties. Uh, Rose is an older loose woman in Keeping Up Appearances, and she is uh, she's Hy Hyson's, uh trashy sister, or that's how they portray them. But anyway. Oh, hey, look. Shotgun's already unlocked. Because we have the Laganapis, right? Carried over. So we get the shotgun a lot sooner. That's good shit. About time we had something go our way. Uh, we're going to need the it's paint thing to get in there. We have the key to room six. So we'll need to go over there at some point. But we can open the conservatory. What is going on? I forgot that this happens. Oh shit, I forgot. Okay, uh, I gotta find the way out quickly. How do I get out of here? Go back to this door? Have a good one, Elder God. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Nope, that doesn't, that doesn't work. How the fuck do I get out of here again? That's right. That's where we get the bolt. Is this where we get the bolt cutters? Or is this different? Oh yeah, then the bolt. Then we can use the bolt cutters. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey Yeti, congrats, man, on stopping smoking, dude. That's that's a really important step for your health. Back so. To I'm proud of you, man. Keep it up. That's not, I know. I know that can't be easy after. Would you say 15 years? All right, we can't get in over to that other place. What's our next objective? Emily felt surprised by how much she enjoyed the company of Ruth. There was something really? familiar. They enjoyed each other about her, like they were old friends that simply forgot about each other. I, did I get a wrong impression? I felt like they were like kind of like rivals. I must have got a wrong impression. I don't know. Shark bite. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. <clears throat> All right. Is the tr is the tree whispering now? 
Is the tree whispering? Not yet. Interesting. It was whispering by this point in our playthrough as Carnby. It's uh, not so far. I think there's a lot of little details like that that are going to be different between playthroughs. All right, I need to put the ladder up out here, right? Was she out here in Carnby's playthrough? She might have been. I don't remember. Mm, I don't think so. No, we found the dead cat. We didn't. We didn't see who buried it. So what this are you is doing new. sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetta was cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gombo. If you'll excuse me. So when we were playing as Carnby and we came through here, she wasn't doing that. And then there was just, we could just pick up the dead cat. <laughs> All right. I can't get this piece. What's that? Yeah, we need the hose. Find a way. So we need to find the extra piece of the hose, turn on the water, right? We also need to put the ladder up and we have the bolt cutters. The hose is in here. All right, it there worked. we go. Yeah, I'm proud of everybody in chat who's, now, quit in smo this? who's quit smoking. I know it's not an easy thing to do, but if, if you smoke, you should definitely think about quitting because it's not good for you, man. And you want to stick around longer. You deserve to be here longer. Uh, I need to put the other piece on the hose and then I need to turn the water on and then it'll raise the puzzle piece up that we need for the boiler. There we go. Isn't there a new Monster Hunter game coming? We'll probably check it out together whenever it drops. Oh, I need to turn the water on. I'm staring. I, I was staring there like, but there, why no rice? <laughs> is this game on PS4? I'm actually not sure, Funky. I know it is on console. I know it's for sure on PlayStation 5 and on Xbox Series X and S. I don't know if it's on PS4 and Xbox One. You'll have to Google that one. I'm sorry. I don't remember. But I do know it's on consoles. There we go. All right. And then... What's the housekeeper objective? buried something in the flower patch beneath one of Dr. Gray's windows. She was singing in some Creole language, performing a peculiar bourgeois voodoo ritual. Bourgeois. Certainly not an unfamiliar sight in the French Quarter, but voodoo had never felt this bitter to Emily. Oh, Leon, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Cancer fucking sucks, dude. Well, I'm wishing your grandfather and you peace and, uh, you know, as much time as possible together. So, I'm so sorry, dude. That's rough. The new Monster Hunter game comes out next year. You guys want to play it together? Is Monster Hunter something you... It's like a little... It's got big monsters, right? We did that game that was a little buggy and a little messed up. But what was that game? It wasn't a Monster Hunter, but it was Monster Hunter-esque. We did a couple streams of that game together. It came out middle of last year. Or maybe early last year. I forgot. It was like a Monster Hunting game. Game like... um, ah, Fuck. Somebody tell me you remember. Uh, yeah, remind me. I streamed it. Uh, but anyway, 
I had fun with that. It was just the game was... It wasn't polished enough. It was off. So I stopped it. But I, I've played a couple of Monster Hunters before. I've never gone too, too deep. But I wouldn't mind doing that with you guys if there's enough interest. I have a feeling because it's AAA. Not that I... I mean, this is AAA. But I have a feeling that because it's non-horror AAA, it might not do too well for me. But I'd be willing to check it out some. You'd love to watch me play? All right. I, I would tell you right now. I'll suck ass. But yeah, I'll play. All right. Uh, we need to get back to the boiler, and we couldn't that way. So we need to go back down the stairs over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I'm at. And the cat... Oh, I was going to point out to you guys the cat that she buried. It's a Laganappy, and we already picked it up right here. You see Beast of Burden, Mummified Cat. So we already picked it up as Carnby. Which... Hold on, though. Hold on. I want to just triple double check that there's not something else in place of the cat. Like another Laganappy, you know? Because it looked like the cat that she was holding. It's kind of trippy, though. Like, we already got the cat as Carnby, but we're watching her rebury the cat. No, okay, there's nothing there. All right. I didn't think there would be. I just wanted to make sure. You guys would be down to watch me play. All right, we can, tr we can try Monster Hunter, see yeah. how it does. I know, too, the games are a bit of a grind, like doing the same fights over and over again to grind out armor and stuff. So I might just focus on the main story and then go on from there, but we'll see. What's the new one that's coming out called? Anybody remember? I know Arrow, my buddy Arrow that I play uh, games with, I played Lords of the Fallen with. I think you do Monster Hunter co-op. Um, or you usually can in the game, so I could do co-op with him. Uh, can I use Baptista's key to go into the wine cellar? Or is it a wine cellar key that I need? Let's double check. I think it's a wine cellar key that I need. I need the key. Yeah, I need the wine cellar key. All right. Um, but yeah, maybe I can play some with Arrow too if the new one's co-op. He is a, a fanatic for Monster Hunter, though. I know he's put a lot of time and hours into most of the games, so. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that lies on display in Cassandra's room. Yeah, this is the same note related to this puzzle Another as previously. It's also broken and oh. missing some pieces. Repair the decorative plate on the broiler. Yep, we know. A majority of my community, YouTube tells me. Now, this is if people are truthful about their age on their YouTube accounts. <laughs> But I think something like uh, like 38 or 39 percent of my community is between 25 and 34, and then the next biggest age range is uh, 35 to what is it, uh, 50 I think or no 45, one of those, and that's like 20 some percent, and then it's 18 to 24 with like I don't know like 16 or 17, and then it's kind of it's spread out arrest among the rest of the age groups so we skew a little bit older here i make content for adults so not that some younger folks don't watch me and that's cool that's between them and their parents uh i need to unlock room six where is room six again who is in room six investigation where's the patient R number six is perosi so i need to unlock elizabetta perosi's room uh i also have the the, th the decorative plate for the astronomical clock as well. Perosi's room is on the second floor, I believe. Yeah, and I have the key, so we need to go upstairs, which means we need to leave into... Not the library. We need to head out into... Is it this door? Oh, I can't use this door right now. Fuck, it would be that door. And it's not up here, I don't think, because this is... Gray's apartment. It might it's be. One shot. No, this isn't it. It's not how I get there. Chris, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. You're in the older group. Spacewalker. Good to see you. Appreciate you being here. I hope you're doing good, man. No worries, dude. I know you've been working a bunch. It's all good, brother. Everybody is welcome here. So it doesn't matter what your age is. As long as you're following Louisiana. YouTube's guidelines. 13 and older. They said it was and a if small you're 13 to, to 17, you need to talk to your parents, kiddos. The land was considered difficult for industry, 
and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Tessetto kept a modest production of Berlin <clears throat> tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Tessetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo, voodoo and, witchcraft. and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union... Okay, so this tells us that the Union Army raided and basically seized control of Deserto, freeing the slaves, right? But that the slaves and everybody basically fought back with, like, occult-like fervor, right? And then it was left in ruins for several decades, then the Ladeau family bought it, and then the Ladeaus kept having to get the police to get uh, people out, right? And then the, um, the Ladeaus rebuilt it, incorporating Surviving Stowed Foundation, and then it became an artist colony um, until a hurricane in 1915 wiped it out. And then the artist colony disappeared without a trace pretty much after that. And then it stood empty for a decade until it was transformed into the Dersetto we know, which was a convalescent home for people with uh, mental ailments and mental illnesses, place to come and rest and recover, right? That's a quick recap for everybody there. Working on my memory. All right. How do I get back to where I need to be? I need to get upstairs and we're over here in the conservatory and then Lottie's room. This is not the way I need to go. I need to go back out through the piazza. Oh, I snuck through that door, baby. Oh, what's in here? Uh, you were asking how esoteric, by the way, welcome to the stream. You were asking how different this playthrough is. Um, so, so far, all the cutscenes and all the character interactions with the different characters at Dersetto and even the interactions with Edward Carnby have all been different, either slightly different or completely different. Um, a lot of the notes um, have been the same. Some of the puzzles have been the same, but um, there's been a couple of variations on notes. All the objectives read to us by Beauregard are different as far as what the note says from Beauregard, at least... I don't remember them being the way they're they're being told here. We got another Laganapi. We completed a set. Forbidden knowledge, vagabonds. There are many ways to cross a threshold. The easiest one is being invited. A door swung open, leading you inside. Another is sleep, hypnosis, or even sudden fright. There are those who fold spaces that challenge Mobius or jump through angles that defy Elucid. If you learn to properly use your talisman, you could go anywhere. You wouldn't even need to rely on the fluttering wings of the shrieking bonkies. Holy shit. There are many ways to cross. Okay. I could have had I could have had that read to us. We've completed 8 out of 15 now. We read about vagabonds. Edwards had heard the Interesting. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I saw something secret objective something said okay we got the shotgun cabinet unlocks a hidden memory in the attic why does it tell us that so we need one more and we'll get that oh i don't think we could read this before all right hold on let's go back through and make sure we've read all of these now that i've progressed the story we read vagabonds um, we read about Edward Carnby hearing the whispers of, uh, of, of, sh of shove wrath longer than, than, uh, since childhood, basically. We read about the Great Depression already earlier in this stream. Death of the author. We read about this, which seems to hint that Beauregard had some hand in, like, creating this story or what's happening here, right? Which is weird, because she's literally a character in it. Shotgun cabinet. We haven't read this, but we knew it unlocked that. Lost children, the lone and the... The lone Wait. and the lost walk a land of fear. When there is nothing you recognize, or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming, and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. Okay. Gotcha. And then Prisoner of Ice we read last night as uh, Carnby Crescent City... 
Okay, we have not gotten to read this. The Crescent City. New Orleans lies southwest of Derceto along the Great Mississippi River. Its old, its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vericare, is the home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and an electric city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazzed, crazed flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Derceto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. All right. Crescent City. Oh, wait. Lord. That's the one I was just on, right? Yeah. Uh, unspeakable cults. We haven't read this. Dorsetto stands on a breeding grounds for the grotesque, a temple devoted to rebellious growth, the most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while, but rest assured your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That is the story of every man and woman who gather around that ancient arbor. Arbor isn't like another word for tree, right? They call people who... Like, if you want to hire somebody to help you grow trees or plant a bunch of trees, or even, like, sometimes people who cut down trees, they're called arborists, right? And there's the tree in the conservatory that's actually Shubrath, right? They all croak, bark, and bleat because their own bodies... I mean, that's a reference to Shubrath right there, too, right? The goat without horns. Because their own bodies are afraid and they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Aya, aya. Instead of that blasphemous name, they gossip in hush whispers the names of Derceto, Astarte. Astarte is the artist colony. That was the name of it. And the Black Goat of the Woods, which is Shubrath, right? All right. And that's it. That's all the Laganapis we've unlocked so far. All right. I think we can now see all the ones that we had. Good shit. All right. I'm going back out through here at Piazza and then up to the stairs to get back up to the, the fucking... Uh... It's blocked. Huh? Why is there fog? I remember this happening before. I don't remember what happens next, though. Fuck. What do I do here? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right. All right. Come at me, bitch. Oh, God. 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 Shotgun. Where's the shotgun? What? All right. God damn it, dude. All right, we got shotgun shells. Pickaxe, new weapon. Dude, fuck. I forgot until I started seeing the fog that walking in here does that to you. All right, how the fuck do I get out? again so this is Dorsetto in ruin after the hurricane of 1915 right we've gone we've gone back in time can I get out now and now we're back that's some freaky ass shit dude all right we gotta go across the piazza that's where we gotta go wasn't so bad how's my health I'll just drink one anyway there we go. We needed to raise it. All right, this is where I wanted to be. We need to get upstairs to the clock and to Perosi's room, right? Man, I'm I'm low on ammo now. I especially pistol. All right, we got one piece of the puzzle. We need one more. All right, Perosi's room's over here. Second door on the left. Second door on the left, I believe. Might be the last one. No, this is Baptista's. I'm a fucking idiot. It's the last one. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to remember. Uh, Mel and Cow wow just became a channel member at the cadet level. Hey, thank you so much. You're an absolute rock star, Mel and Cow wow. I really appreciate it. That helps out a budge. All right. Elizabeth's room. What a strange but beautiful room. Yep. There's a puzzle in here, right? Are these zodiac signs? We need the commonplace book to to uh to do this. I remember correctly. 
No, pro we need this. That's right. Do I remember need to this. Remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper this the note is the different this time, people. I think. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no more no Derseto. Those good pirates of Poncha Train. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Shores of Hali. All right. We needed that. That's important. We got to fix the paintings, rot wise. Before we do that, I did it. All right, so this is the note from Jeremy. We've seen this before. That essentially started to clue us in that Jeremy and Elisabetta had something going on, right? But this is him talking about the talisman and being able to use it. He went to a hateful mound outside the oil rig, which is where we're going to end up going to. All right. Um, I remember the solution to this. All right. At least I thought I did. Hold on. The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm yep. pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Oh, we didn't get that dialogue from uh, Carnby's playthrough. All right. Those are the numbers, right? So we know that... Hold on. We got to complete the rot, right? Yeah. Complete the rot. That's the wrong one. I had the puzzle close. Here we go. Hmm. All right. And then these three names, William uh, Argies, Franklin Mozick, and Nora Keith. And then if we go over here, William is two. Um, Mozick is nine, two, nine, four. I don't remember if that's the exact same code as previously, but. And then what we need is Perosi's journal, right? 294 so it's pisces symbol and then it would be libra symbol and then it would be taurus symbol right one two three four so pisces libra taurus okay and then we do pisces libra and then taurus but champ, baby. Ah, here we go. Look at me. All right, we got the last piece to the um to the uh, fucking astronomical clock, I believe. Yeah, to the fucking astronomical clock. Oh, hey, I remembered this. <laughs> aren't sucking me off. Nope. 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 Fuck you guys. All right. Last piece. Last piece, crew. I think I've seen this somewhere. Yeah. I don't understand what's happening. Uh, we gotta look in the book just to make sure I do it the right way. But what Suddenly, objective wise? Jeremy's Hold on. bleak dreamscape devoured Emily, drowning her in dread and darkness. Only to moments later spit her out again. What had happened and why? Was that her doing mm. or did someone else make it so? Yeah, there's been very similar gameplay stuff, but we've had been able to unlock some stuff earlier. I think the big difference for Emily's playthrough is going to be the story beats, right? And the narrative and interactions with the characters, like the cutscenes, the dialogue, all of the objective notes, um, a lot of them, and then even some of the other like story notes and stuff are different. Or when you look at something as Elizabeth, she has different commentary than um, than Edward Carnby, right? And once you play both of them, you've got like the full picture of the story. Okay, so I think it's the commonplace book, maybe? Yeah. So we got to make it look like that. Okay. Sear that into my brain again. Okay. So, that's in the right position. 
That's not, though. We can rotate these. That's not right. I think I had it right. No, I didn't. It's this one. There we go. And then this piece, I believe, is here. Yep. And then this, I believe, goes here. Uh, no, no, no. There was something oh, shit. in the book about this. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, Emily. I just I'm being I'm being a silly skilly right now. All right, there we go. We got that. I think that's good. I can't tell. Those might be different. We might have to switch those. Yeah, something's not right here. The blood one goes down here. There we go. And then this one fits. Nope, these are flipped. And then I just need to fix this one, and I think we're good. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Did it break? The clock just stopped. Find the talisman numbers hidden. So it is six, four, three. Six, four, three. Hmm. All right. Six, four. I could go this way. Three. Oh, we are blazing, baby. It's showing me something. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? It is. Let's go there, though. Let's go there and something spooky's gonna happen. Oh, no. Why is she... <laughs> why was she like... Huh? She was like all bent over weird. I need the key. All right, let's make sure there's no other puzzles or anything that we can do right now. On the, according to the map. No. All right. Oh, wait. We do have the bolt cutters, though. Hold on. I should save, too. Save Elizabeth's. I like that I could just, like, spam save, and it does them all in a row. There's a lot of games when you're saving where, like, you have to wait for the saving to finish before you, like, save in a second slot. Because I like to have multiple saves. Because I'm a fucking... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... a, a whatchamacallit? A whochamacallits. A, uh, I'm a paranoid bastard. That's the word I was looking for that took me a year to find. I don't know why, because it was lost in the recesses of my brain. Bolt cutters lock blocked. Bolted door locked door unlockable. Okay, it would tell me if it was unlockable. Gotcha. All right, let's go back into the creepy hallway. And then I think we're supposed to go back in Jeremy's room probably, right? Maybe not. We don't have his key yet. No, we're supposed to go further down. Whoop. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay. Emily deserved a sense of triumph, Ooh. but she was too on edge to appreciate her success. There was no reasonable explanation why the talisman let her open up this other world. Was this really happening? Or was Is this, this really somehow happening? all in her mind? There was no time to question her own sanity. She had to find Jeremy. If he was here, she thought, would she find Jeremy in the hateful mouth? I think she would. What's up, Mr. Gold Ember? What's up, Robert? Welcome. I hope you're both doing good. Good to have you as well. Um, who I missed somebody. Who did I miss? And now I lost it. My eyes aren't finding the name. Phoenix, I can't remember if I said hi. Phoenix, welcome. I hope you're doing good. But that wasn't it. There was another one. Jacob Sanchez. What's up, Jacob? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Oh, yeah. We're at the Hateful Mound, the it. oil rig. I opened up another dream. The burning, burning oil rig. Is there anything else here before we go down? Because I accidentally jumped down as Edward. Yeah, there's nothing else there. That's good. Mm. All right. Now we got to deal with these fucked up, twisted alligators. Here, here, alligators. All right. Let me in, bitch. May 1923. Monday. 
All okay. Uh, so we're Ready nervous. for delivery. Let's collapse. Maintenance. This is the same note as last time, so we'll burn that through. It's just talking about there being something in the bayou. Shit's fucked up, you know. No ammo out of either one of those drawers? Really? Man, my RNG luck tonight with ammo is fucking sucking, bro. All right. I do I not have the key. key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a melee weapon back over here behind this house? Gashlight, please? No, no melee weapon. All right, that's where we jump down when we make the loop. Oh, yeah, the things uh, isn't it about to happen right here or no is it is it a little bit further forward i think after we go in here i can't remember dude the ambience i love the ambience in the background here what's up matthew dudley welcome to the stream thanks for joining good to have you do you go by matt or matthew ah uh, that door's blocked i didn't need to grab it to know that locked All right, I remember this. Uh, I, I need to get the handle for that. So we got to go upstairs. But well, before we do, let's loot goblin everything. You know, jetty key. Okay, we needed that. Hmm. Anything else? What else we got, say? Undo the bolt, please, so that we have a run around. Because I can't remember if we get attacked right in this place or not. All right, we got the key. We grab something up there. Ooh, there's something missing. Yeah, I need the lever. The lever, the lever. We had this conversation. Deja vu, man. All right. I think the jetty key goes back over here. Go back in here and it's the key to the back door. And then the lever is going to be somewhere out here, right? Uh, Ely Fred, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Good to have you. Bulates? Yeah, we love our bulates. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More bulates. Is my pistol reloaded? It is. Is my shotgun reloaded? It is. All right. Just got to make sure, you know. Yeah, here's the bridge lever. Lever. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hear something nasty outside. Somebody that didn't brush their teeth. All right. Yep. I think this is the first encounter. <clears throat> With those fucked up things. Yep. Oh, you piece of shit. That's why you should brush your teeth, everybody. That's what happens if you don't brush your teeth right there. Your mouth splits open. You become like a Cthulhu entity. All right. <clears throat> I'm remembering a lot more of this game than I felt like I would. I mean, I literally did just play Car Carby's story, but still. <gasps> Shit. I got a little too overzealous there and walked across that before I probably should have. Anything back here? We still got to find the rest of the Laganappies, so we got to search high and low every corner. Can't open that from here, right? The bridge key or the... What, what do I need up here again? I forgot what I'm doing up here specifically. I'm doing something. Mm, I'm going to take a little drinky. A little drink. Heal all the way up, you know? All right. Oh, we're just getting through. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's what I... You know, I didn't catch that last time. What that was. It's one of the flying things. That, oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I mean, it's not that. It's one of the flying... That what just scared us there is one of the flying things that you get attacked by in the desert. Holy shit. You go by Matt? Okay. You always think of your mom being stern? I feel like that... Well, yeah, a lot of people have that. If you if your name can be shortened, 
Like, my name is Philip, uh, but I have a lot of people who call me Phil and or Philip, and I don't have a preference for either one. But um, I definitely, like, if someone says Philip, depending on the cadence with what they say it, I sometimes hear my mom yelling at me. She's like, Philip? Nobody else is gonna get that that was a perfect impression of my mom. IGP would if he was here. All right, come at me, bitch. More balates for me? No balates. Okay. Oh, big sad. No balates. Oh, dude, the ore is so much better. It is big. It's, this is bigger than Emily. Can you call me Lip? <laughs> From Shameless? No, that dude's way smarter than me. <clears throat> All right. What else is in here? I thought there was story progression in here, but there's not. It's just bulates. Is my uh, pistol reloaded? It is. All right. We could avoid some of those creatures if we want to. Save up some ammo. I might. I might. I might end up doing that. Oh yeah, the shovels here. All right extra melee or I could just use the melee weapons around and kill him. We got to break through this over here. I can break this. I just need something to hit it with. Oh. All right. Are there more of those things here or are they somewhere else? No. Oh, I thought that was a healing. Oh, there are. All right, you son of a bitch. You know what? Fuck your couch! Fuck your couch! to break down. So I'll take the shovel. I used the ore to break down that thing. IGP, hear our call. Uh, yeah, he's probably hanging, chilling with the family on Saturday night. Oh yeah, look at those bitches in the swamp. I remember that. There's those fucking oh, those goddamn bats, man. All right, let me in. Hello? there my god i'm remembering so much i, I must have I, uh, my memory is like supercharged tonight i guess i'm proud of myself guys i usually forget what i have for breakfast i know some of you are probably like well of course dude you just finished this well listen listen if you knew me <laughs> It's a miracle I get pants on some days, okay? <laughs> uh, melee weapon. Thank you. A hatchet? We got a hatchet. Let's go. What's up, Justin? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Jack Yo Lantern. Good to see you, dude. I hope you're doing well. Lily? Welcome, Lily. You might have been here for a bit. What is that? I don't remember a piano last time here. Oh, did he just pop up in the swamp? 
Okay, hold on. I don't remember this. Is this new? This was, I thought this was blocked off in Carnby's playthrough. No, we came in here, but I don't remember a piano playing. I don't remember classical music. Maybe I'm just crazy. Huh. Okay. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from this? Okay. I'm not going to waste another bullet. It's kind of creepy. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. I better save. <laughs> I almost got stuck there again. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I know the cheery piano in the background is, is fucking scary. I don't like it. IGP playing the piano again. K-Man plays. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Stick around. We have fun. Nice community and everything, but appreciate you being here. Okay, we did that. We just got to do this house. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that piano. I don't know. Maybe... Hmm. Chad, I don't know if you guys do, but that, that's weird. That's a weird detail that I feel like I don't remember. Oh, nothing in there. Yeah. All right, I can sneak through here and avoid some of these. Which I think I'm going to try to do just to get survey ammo. We fought our way through here as Carton B. We're playing him. <laughs> All right. Oh, great. Oh, great. Can I get up here and get away from this? I don't want to waste the bloodness. Actually. Notification. Sorry, chat. God damn. All right. Continuing on. I need to heal. Some of whatever he was slinging at me hurt me. Is that both of them that was in this area? Look at me. I'm, I'm going to stealth this. And then I immediately attract both of them. Good job, Skilly. Sentient, what's up, Sentient? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. I hope you're doing good. Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Nope, nope. 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 Land 
lantern. Is that right? I usually say lantern. I think that's no, oh, that's wrong. You guys know what I mean. Damn it! There has to be a way to get to the other side. Yeah, we know how. We did it as card me. All right. Now the question is, can we stealth this? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this bitch ass with a pipe. Come at me, bro. Ah! She was so proud of herself. Did you guys see the little smile on her face? I'd be pretty proud of myself too if I pulled out some half cocked, stupid ass plan like that. Excuse me? Well, we all know what that is, don't we, chat? If you watch. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Yep, yep. He's flying though. He's flying. Woo! Hot diggity dog. Damn, dude. I like still hear him sniffing around. Fuck that shit. I hear, like, I hear him everywhere. What? I don't remember this being here. There's a body? Is it like, there's multiple. Are those, that, huh? Those were not here playing as Carnby. Are those offerings to whatever the fuck that thing is? It's the hateful mound Jeremy mentioned in his book. Yep, it sure is. All right, Lottie's gonna be in here, right? Yep. Lottie is gonna be in here. That was a Cthulhu entity controlled by the Dark Man. That would, that's what that was. Is Lottie not here? Lottie's not here. She was here for Carnby. <clears throat> this is different. Jeremy, 
You dropped your. <gasps> oh, she's here. Okay. Fuck. Mrs. Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Why do they Jeremy keep... is your uncle? They all keep calling her by Could her you please? fiance's last name. Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. And she keeps correcting them, which is interesting. Me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother Batiste earlier. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? <laughs> I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. Bless the rains down in Tarawea. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? That's what come she said. Quick. different how God she escaped <laughs> card me was on his back like tried to shoot it <laughs> your ears <laughs> i'm back at your setto. <laughs> was it too loud is it is it too loud you guys can tell me all right i want to say the save dream of the grave after reading under this. the Shinier suddenly vanished and Emily found herself back at Desetto. Back at Instead Dersetto. of Jeremy, she found Lottie, who just like her brother Baptiste, reminded her of John, who died so bravely in the war. Oh. <laughs> she pushed her painful memories out of her mind and returned to her investigation. <laughs> she still needed to figure out what to do with the boiler. It was my singing. Yeah, I do. I do. Listen, I am not a good singer, but... Uh, I'm not a good singer, but I'm not a horrible singer. Like, I, 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 I don't sound pleasing. Like, if I actually try to sing, I don't sound pleasing. Well, I would say I, I'm not like, you know, like nobody would ask me to sing at church or whatever. But I also don't sound so bad that like, you're like, you turn it off. Uh, so I'm not good. I would never say I'm good. But I like to always joke around and like when I sing and stuff, I like to like try to sound bad and it annoys the fuck out of IGP. <laughs> That's why I do that. Cause <laughs> the same thing. He's like, it hurts your ears or it hurts my ears. So I always try to do it bad, but then it always comes back and bites me in the ass because whenever I do it, like I always do it and it's like strains my voice or it hurts my throat. Like my throat hurts a little bit afterwards. Yeah. I also use it to annoy my family sometimes. I think we talked about this a long time ago, but I had a period of time where I was running around singing. <laughs> what is it called? I always forget the name of it. D the Backstreet Boys song, Desire. You know, it's like, you are. Y you guys know what I'm talking about. I used to go around and sing that song at random times, just randomly or like out in public. And my wife would be like, stop it. <laughs> And then my kids would join in and you know, they're little kids. They can't sing. So, hey, what's up, Babylon Sky? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Yeah, that's all you need, right? Is those two words and everybody know everybody knows what that song is. Good night, Leon. Take care, man. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. All right. Oh, we got to repair Le Bloila. Le Bloila. Um, what do I have key wise now? I don't remember what I got. I have the I have the bolt cutters and I have Jeremy's bag, which we need to pick up and get the stuff out of. That's right. I got the pallet knife. Yeah, the painting thing that can move the wedges under the doors. That's what I got. It's going to be May. <laughs> uh, ba, 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 ba. We got a clue. Reflections eh? on the power of the verb in certain texts. By this Juan is Luis new. Oil. This is new. To act is in itself divine. Yep. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse turn to suicide. However, 
If you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. Okay. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Really? Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Oh, what's up, Darkness? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. You're asking if I'm going to try Dragon's Dogma 2. Yo, Dragon's Dogma 2 looks dope as hell. I'm really interested in it. I love RPGs and I love games like it. Um, I, I don't have a lot of time to play RPGs anymore. And I think I am going to try it with you guys on stream. Probably sometime this coming up week. But I'll be honest, I'm a little conflicted. Because I know it's a really fucking long game. Right? And uh, here's the problem. Here's not the problem. Here's a, here's a thing about YouTube, okay? Uh, the longer a game is, and the more you play it, this there, there's exceptions to this rule, always. But the longer the game is, and the more videos or more streams you do on it, usually viewership falls off the further you get into streaming it, right? So, like, a game like Alone in the Dark is almost perfect, because the campaign is 10 to 12 hours, so that's like, th I did it in three streams, the Carnby playthrough, and then Elizabeth's is probably going to be two here because I'm faster, right? Um, so like four or five streams, and then viewership really starts to tank. And listen, if I ever get super big and I do this full time and I'm comfortable and I'm not having to fight for every view like I am now, um, I won't give a shit. I'll play a 60-hour a RPG, right? So I, I think I'm still going to play it, but I don't I don't know how I'm going to approach it or I don't know if we'll even get to finish it. It depends on how viewership is. But right now, I have to be a little bit smart because I'm trying to go full time creator and I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to take all the awesome support that you guys have been giving me for so long and all the energy and everything that everybody's been pouring into my channel and everything and all the love. I feel it. I'm really appreciative of it. And I want to do right by you guys. And I want to take that gift that you're giving me. And I want to make this into something even bigger and special, right? So I still play what I want to play. Like I'm not playing something just because I think it's good, but I or it'll do good view wise and I hate it. But I gotta I gotta I gotta find that balance between what do I want to play and what's gonna do good, right? And then find where that intersects, and that's what I gotta play, and that's what I gotta focus on. So there might be some games and stuff where maybe we check them out and we uh you know play a little bit for to get together but then if like viewership drops or something like that i gotta move on right for now so because we're in that growth mindset you know what i mean that's where we're at i hope that makes sense to everybody i'm just being super upfront and super honest about it but i really want to play dragon's dogma and so, and I, I, I love playing games with you guys on stream, especially games like that, like narrative games and RPGs and stuff. So I think I'll try it out and then, you know, it, we'll stick with it as long as viewership holds up. And then if viewership drops a lot or it's not doing that great, then I'll step away and I'll say, hey guys, you know, I, this is what I thought so far of the game. I think it's great. I'll probably play it some on my own. And then if you guys want to check it out, you can. So... My beard looks super red tonight, does it? It's probably the light. We've talked about this. Remember, my wife had the ultimate say. We did a poll in one of the Alone in the Dark streams because my mods told me my beard looks uh, red on camera. I said nobody would notice me because in real life, my hair and my beard are brown, decidedly brown. That's when I texted my wife and asked her that it was an important question for our marriage. I need you to tell me what color my beard is. My wife's final say was, final answer was brown and gray. So... That's what she says. <laughs> that's literally what she said. That's a what that's what she said, literally. You get it? So anyway. So I kind of have like a disguise. Like the camera disguises my beard cuz my beard's not actually red. I know it looks it though. I do agree with you guys. It does look red on camera. I, I went back and looked at some of the streams after people were telling it's me that and shot. it does. I agree. So Hannah, one of our mods, she's a redhead. She gave me honorary uh, ginger status, so, 
You know, I can choose when I want to have a soul and when I don't want to have a soul. You know what I mean? I get I to go back and forth. I need. Yeah, I don't have the Barlow lens, right? That's what I need. The Barlow lens. The Barlow lens. All right, we've had those instructions before. We just need to get the lens. Oh, we got the cellar key. Yeah, that's what we need to get into the wine cellar to get the valve to turn off the boiler so that we can walk past it, right? <laughs> prove that my beard is... I don't know how to prove it. How do I prove it? it would, I guess I could take a picture with my camera or something. I don't know. How do I prove it to you guys? <laughs> I don't have any other lighting options in here. <laughs> Except for my computer monitor. I don't know how to prove it. I'll I guess I'll have to figure out something. I don't know. I I was gonna share the text between my wife and I, but if you guys remember, I dropped a picture in Discord. But I texted her that and she, she didn't respond until the next day. She responded with a picture of our dog in the rain in a raincoat. And then she said a bunch of stuff about our kids. So I can't take a screenshot of that because it has personal info in it that I don't want to share. So <laughs> I can't take a screenshot of the thing, though. Yes, I am an honorary ginger. I will wear it with pride. Um... Ooh, I can get into the drawing room? Have I not been in the drawing room? I thought I've been in here. I have been in here. There's a puzzle in here that I haven't done, though. Huh? No, in the draw. Oh, the Barlow lens in there. Okay. All right, I can get into the cellar, so I got to go do that. Where else can I get? Uh, I can solve a puzzle there. Huh? What puzzle could I solve there? And I can unlock the sitting room. All right, let's go to the cellar. Unless... Yeah, yeah let's go to the cellar first. You always assumed it was red as well. Yeah, we did a poll like two or three streams ago. And I think uh, red or ginger won out by like 57% or something. So a majority of people think it is that. I just like the idea if anybody ever actually sees me in public then they dismiss that it's not me because my beard doesn't look red <laughs> maybe i should have kept it a secret i should be like oh yeah i'm totally i'm a redhead <laughs> all right we should be able to get <clears throat> into here now with that key nope cellar key yeah, that pole, that pole was a landslide. It was. <laughs> I also told you guys, I told my wife that everybody thinks my beard is red. And she said, I, you need to fix your camera. <laughs> I, th I, I think it, I think what it is, honestly, like no joke. There's a lot of like, I'm really close to my monitor. There's a lot of white light from my monitor and then in horror games there's a lot of red orange yellowish a lot of times right light um being cast and so i think that's what causes it i think that and i've probably done fucked up uh webcam settings because oh. I, oh yeah okay sorry I, I i knew that uh because uh i don't <clears throat> i don't know fully what i'm doing with the webcam <laughs> so you know <clears throat> Nathan said I, I thought you were blonde too? I uh had blonde hair as a kid until about fifth grade sixth grade and then my hair started turning brown and then over time it went to dark brown uh so my hair is dark brown my beard has is mostly brown and then my wife says gray but I do have blonde beard hairs like you see me pulling right here this I have hair here but it just looks like my cheek probably to you guys. I have hair here. You could see it in person, but it's it's really light blonde hair. It's really, really light blonde. But I have, you see me pulling my cheek out, but I, uh, it looks like maybe I'm holding nothing a little bit. That's because there's a bunch of blonde hair there. Ow, that kind of hurt. I kind of hurt myself. But anyway, my beard looks a little bit fuller in person than it does on camera. I'll be honest with you. Unless it's in weird lighting. All right, we got our thing. 
<clears throat> this is what we need to get past the boiler. I don't remember if we get attacked down here or not. Yo, you thought I was blind because of my facial hair? Yeah, I mean, I, I used to be as a kid, yeah. join that I missed hey what's up arrow welcome to the stream thanks for joining good to have you all right uh boiler is in here right put the valve on yeah boy all right Jeremy? Oh, yeah, I forgot this is where you first see Jeremy. He's going to grow eyes. As soon as I hit E, he's growing a bunch of eyes all over him. God, dude, that is so freaky. There's <gasps> one. Yep. Oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, shit. What? Fuck a duck, dude. There was a dead body in here. Did I just imagine that? That was not a dead body. That was that was Jeremy. But he's in another place. He's in another place, man. All right, that was a piece to the boiler, right? Yep. And then we need one more piece. All right. Should we go ahead and organize this? Oh, I can't. It won't let me organize it. Fuck. I don't want you to have an extra piece. All right. The body of DeSetto's clerk transformed into some eye-clad abomination. Maybe that wasn't Before Jeremy. That was DeSetto's clerk? Say Surely what? it was all in her head. A horrible vision planted by the dog man. <laughs> At that point, just empty the clip. Yeah, you don't have control. It's like a little mini cutscene. I would. Believe me, I, I think I did. I didn't say anything to you guys. But I think I did actually try to shoot at that point, And that's when I realized, oh, this is a this is a cutscene. OK, I need to go. I need another piece for the boiler. So we need to go to second floor, right? Second floor, sitting room. And then we have a puzzle up there. OK, which means we need to get back to work. Bear, we need to get bear. Where's bear? We need to find the burr. Can't go that way. That's right. Piazza. We need Piazza. I believe. Anything going on down there? Nope. Anybody have anything uh, advice for hair tonics so you can grow your beard? I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I hate to say this. I couldn't grow a beard for the longest time. Uh, I'm 35 and it wasn't until like mid 20s that I was able actually to get some okay facial hair. And then I just didn't want to deal with it or upkeep it. So I never grew one until recently. So the beard's a recent addition for me. But anyway, what I was going to say is I think uh, medically and scientifically, there's not anything that's 100% that grows hair, unfortunately. And I don't know that there's anything. And I think it's even less so for facial hair. I hate to say that. So, but yeah, I think they do make certain beard oils and stuff to stimulate hair growth, but it it's not like uh, exact science and it doesn't work for everybody. That'd be dope if uh, if we ever if that if that ever changes, it'd be really cool if scientifically we can solve that, like whatever the hair growth problem is that'd make a lot of men happy. Yeah, Yeti's on to something. Uh, uh, I'm going to butcher how you say it, but keratin, I think is how you say it. Keratin supplements or keratin. Anything with keratin in it, I think, is like 
something that again it's not gonna definitely do it but it, it is shown to be i think one of the most effective <clears throat> yeah it doesn't hurt to try anything that's that's not that's not too crazy All right, we gotta go in the sitting room, I guess. We can't go across the hall. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want to sip? I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. Oh, he's coming on I to just Emily. want to find my uncle Fucking before anything happens. jackass, dude. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. That was a weird conversation. What a weird freaking dude that guy is. He was weird in Carnby's playthrough and he's weird in this one too. I don't like him, say. <laughs> Apollo said hot sauce and salsa put hair on your chest. Yeah. McCarthy moseyed off to continue his search for the little girl. Emily had meant to ask why he was looking for her, but decided against it, fearing that it would just prolong an already awkward scene. <laughs> Cynthia said Workman needs a Manscaped gift, gift box. Yo, I would recommend Manscaped, but they're not sponsoring me yet. Manscaped, what are you doing? What are you doing? So this is Grace's room. Cute. Oh, yeah, let's watch it pop. Hmm. Does anything happen if I shoot it? I only have six bullets. I'm going to waste one. Okay, nothing happens. Dang it. Small Don't request. Don't worry, Grace. Go play your game. Dude. Yeah, we saw this. It's just telling us where to get something we already know. All right. What else we got out here? Who's... Why is uh, Emily acting like that? All right, this is the bathroom. Wash closet, right? That's what you guys told me. This is a good old wash closet right here. Take a bath, sit on... Why is it... What the fuck? How come I didn't notice this as Carnby? Why the hell is it so high? How do you... I guess you got to pull that to flush? This seems unnecessary and ridiculous. What technology needed to be invented that we could bring the toilet bowl down? Eh. Who's the genius who thought of bringing it down? That's weird, dude. Why is it so high? Oh, this yeah. This must be the great Cassandra bowl. I think I've seen this somewhere. Seen what? Combination for the lock. Find the combination for the lock. Uh, oh, the extra piece is in there. I forgot where that's at. Yeah, this is Beauregard's room. The writer lady. Oh, here's the extra medicine. Um, or one of the extra medicines. The other one is in that locked box. We can put this here. What's that? Now we need one more. I need something else. Yeah, we need the uh, key for the medicine lockbox and to get the last one. All right, let's do our typewriter thingy. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the yeah, post office. Yeah, it's in Lottie's today. room. Same note. We know where that's at. We need to find the key for it, though. We can't solve this puzzle yet, right? Correcto. Correcto mundo. All right, how do we get over to complete that puzzle, though? Find the key to the medicine. All right. It's not in it's not in here, I don't think. Hold on, let me do a run. I opened the door to leave, but then I changed my mind. <sighs> the 
they needed to be that high for water pressure in the 20s and 30s. Okay. I guess that makes a little more sense. Let gravity do the work for you, right? Still, though. Hey, what's up, Nula? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Jack Frost, good to see you. Appreciate you being here. Sneaky Bastard, 1993. Welcome. Good to have you. That just looked really weird to me. See a toilet up that high. All right. Let's head back out here and see what happens then. Oh, I do not have the piece for this. There's something missing. Yeah, we know. Uh, ooh, do I have the code to what's in? Hold on, though. It said the medicine bottles had stains of yeah, rock yeah, yeah, yeah. on the labels, Find suggesting the some the greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. All right, hold on. I for what purpose? Might ha we might have the combination for? Is it in the commonplace book for the for the thing? For the doohickey, for the but for the butch, call it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Uh, it would be highlighted text, right, as a number or as something to reference. Doctor Gray, housekeeper, and patients all deranged. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Nope. Townsend, and take you there, Miss Jackson. Nope. I feel like we have the combination somewhere to this. Repairing the boiler. Nope. Broken plates. Nope. Nope. This is the journal we need to solve the symbols, but we need to know what specific numbers to reference in that. Would it be in Beauregard's file, maybe? She's the first one, right? Negative. Negative Ghost Rider. We might not have it yet. I might have lied. Tab to view. I can't turn it over. Must return. Hateful Mound. Piece of the plate. This is Cassandra's room. Lost Plantation of Louisiana. Nope. Uh, reflections on the verb in certain texts. It is Juan. Nope. Barlow Lens. Nope. No. Okay. We don't have it yet in our notes. I don't think I can go through here. Well, I can, but I don't think I can go to where I want to go. Right? Can I unbolt this? Nope. Locked. Anything new in this area? Do I not? Did I not get Jeremy's key from his bag that he dropped when I was at the Hateful Mound? I thought I did. You're heading to bed, Josh She, Hey, take care, man. Thanks for joining and supporting while you could, Josh. Really appreciate it, brother. And what's up, uh, Shay? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I hope you're good. Did I miss you? And then, uh, e Aether, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Is that grav gravity used a fed toilet? Is that used anywhere else in the world nowadays? a good point oh no come on open the door don't be doing all that good night Allie. take care have a good one thanks for joining no nothing and then i can't open either one of these right into the mezzanine right yeah i don't think i can open either one of these nope god damn it all right Just got off work, Esoteric? Hell yeah. Welcome to the non-working life. All right. Door entrance. Gray's area. Don't want to go that. Piazza. I need the key. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, so we got to go to Piazza then, right? Piazza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. What's up, Remington Costa? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Uh, Drake, welcome. Good to have you. Night is going well, man. I'm having some plun. Some plun? I'm having some plun. I'm having some fun playing games and hanging out with chat. Uh, yeah, I don't have the medicine key box, but we need it to solve the puzzle in Beauregard's room. 
What is over here? Nurse's watch. Okay, I was about to say that's new. All right, how many lagging appies total are we missing? One, two, three. Dying with dignity, we're missing all three. So six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing nine out of 45. That's not bad, guys. We might actually pull this off. I might actually get all of this. Because we're only on chapter two is Emily. So... I don't know. I'm probably going to end up missing one or two. I just got to keep checking everywhere. After each sequence that we leave, I got to recheck everywhere in Dorsetto. All right. This goes downstairs. We don't need... I don't think we need to go back down there. So we should go up. Right? Or we should go to the lab bar. It's wet shut. Yep. We got this. It worked. Damn, Skibby, it worked. All right, that's the new area. I can't get in Dr. Gray's apartment. I, uh, I, don't, uh, uh, I don't think. Yeti got it correct, everybody. So did Hannah. Donating never required. Take care of yourself and your family first. And then if you got some extra scratch and you want to throw it my way, I'd appreciate it. But you don't have to. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh. Huh? All right, this is the grand parlor, right? When I came here first as Carnby, Ruth Talant was sitting right here, right? And she was drinking. And Carnby and her had a little conversation. It was a little flirty dirty. She's not here though, right now. You want to know where Jeremy gets such sturdy palette knives from? Modern ones are flimsy now and expensive. It's probably just a byproduct of modern times, right? I would imagine back in the day they were made from some sort of metal, non-aluminum, right? Something not flimsy metal, I guess I should say. All right, so this unlocks... Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, can we go in the empty room right now? No, that's Perosi's room. All right, never mind. Hold on. We can go back this way, though. <laughs> Trezor said this seems like a lot of work for not a lot of payoff for me. Yeah, I mean, I made uh, I'm going on three years of YouTube and I made uh, for the first like year and a half I made zero dollars doing my own content <laughs> until I got monetized and then I made for the next probably six months I probably made less than a hundred bucks each month and now since then it's been doing a lot better but it still is not my full-time gig i just recently transitioned to doing this about 40 hours a week and then i work about 10 to 15 for igp to supplement so that i get a full enough salary to support my family but we'll get there we'll get there you know it's just like building a business you got to build it up Hello? Not entrepreneur kind of stuff. It really is. I think that's the side or the part of YouTube that people forget a lot is that YouTubers have to do the same stuff a lot of business owners do on the back end. Jen Lee Jones with the $10 gifted... $10? With the 10 gifted channel memberships. And those went to Nula, Gaelic Devil, Where Predator Lives, uh, Santalia, Krusty Bob, Nerdy Dartoons, Nate Phillips, Christopher Muse, Charlotte Trebulock, Trebulock, and Joshua Bell. Welcome to channel membership on behalf of Jen Lee Jones. Jen Lee Jones, you rock star. I really appreciate that, man. It helps out a bunch. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay. What did we do? We unlocked this, right? Why was that important? <laughs> I forgot. We need the medicine box. And we need the combination for the lock in Perosi's room. And we need to get the last boiler plate, which is in Perosi's room, which we need the combination lock for. 
We need to go somewhere. I don't know where. No, we opened. We opened. Hold on. I know where I was going. Here. That's the grand parlor. We were going. We were going hither, right? No. Yes. No. That's the apartment. Grand parlor. Hold on, hold on. Mr. Gold Ember with the $10 super chat said, I would like to report. I now have sufficient munchies to finish the stream. Mr. Gold Ember, you legend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It helps out a bunch. What munchies you got, dude? Inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Where am I when I do this? Okay, Jeremy's room, Baptista's room, Perosi's room. I don't know where I need to go. Okay, that's the gallery. Do I need to go back over here? Hey, we got a bunch of rainbows. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, Melon Cow Wow with the five gifted subs, and those went to James Myers, Casey Terry, uh, Tarimbo, and Baby Succubus. All became channel members. And DJ, I'm sorry. All became channel members on behalf of Mel Melon Cow Wow. Melon Cow Wow, you rock star. Thank you. I appreciate it. The blurry finger says thanks. Blurry blur. Okay. This is Grace's room. This fucking psychotic little girl. I'm racking my brain right now trying to remember where the fuck I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I think I gotta go back in the mezzanine. Okay, hold on. I think I know where I'm supposed to be. I'm just being... I'm just being goofy. I probably missed what Mr. Gold Ember is having for snacks. Blurry finger hath spoken, yes. Uh, if you were asking what I do for IGP, um, so I was essential. We used to call my IGP's manager. I helped IGP with a lot of the back end stuff that a full time YouTuber has to do. Um, a lot of like boring administrative stuff. I also edited for his second channel and I still edit for his second channel. Um, and I keep a games list running for him and now for me too of like upcoming games and contact with game devs and stuff like that. A lot of like just a lot of stuff that comes with being a YouTuber that, you know, a big YouTuber would need potentially help with. So kind of like a, a glorified assistant. <laughs> In a sense, not to diminish what I did at all. Diminish? Not to diminish what I did at all. But yeah, essentially, like, kind of like that. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah. There was a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff in the background. Stuff and things. But yeah. But, uh, IGP is awesome and I have moved away from doing some of that stuff and really just help with editing now collab partner and you know a couple of minor things here and there so that i can focus more on my own content because my own channel has been doing pretty good and igp's goal and my goal was always to get me to full time at some point i need the key yes i know we need the key oh grace a psycho little girl I'm gonna hold on. It's cutscene. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't remember Grace playing playing the piano down here when we got here as Carnby. This is not how this played out. Do you teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? How do you know about that? She was just a because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Oh shit. Yes. I taught them some piano. 
Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. But you're not wrong. Why is she hugging Emily? Wait, oh, oh. what, what are you doing? What did she just do? Psychotic little bitch. <laughs> what did she give Emily? I'm gonna Emily? go now. See you around. Yo, I knew she was a sussy baka. She never did anything like that in Carby's playthrough, but she sure as hell did just now. What the hell? What did she inject into Emily? 2D Heath Bar with the gifted channel membership, and that went to Skylar Foxy. Skylar Foxy, welcome to channel membership on behalf of 2D Heath Bar. Heath Bar, you rock star. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Nula said, suck ass. Listen, man, IGP doesn't have to pay me to suck his ass, okay? <laughs> you got it all wrong. That's just, that's, that's part of the free package. Um... <clears throat> She's in the wrong sort of institution, Misty said. <laughs> that's absolutely, that's absolutely true, Misty. You know what? If you remember in Carby's story, Carby, she was kidnapped by her father from her mother who didn't really want her and was like uh, neglecting her. And Carby was hired by the mother though because the mother hated the father to track her down. And he did. And they met on a bridge and he... And the father accidentally drove off the side of the bridge because Carnby was chasing him. And then Carnby had to jump into the water and he could have saved both of them, but he only saved um, Grace, right? And uh, he intentionally left the father behind because he thought the father was a bad guy who kidnapped his daughter who he wasn't supposed to have. And so he had guilt for that. But Grace was all weird about the situation. You know what? I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but knowing how Grace turns out, Carnby should have left her ass in that sinking car, dude. He should have left her ass in that sinking car. That's what should have happened. He should have left her there. All right. Medicine key box, finally. All right, that's what we needed. That door, what else is around here? Yeah, she's Grace. Grace is is definitely not right. Can I? Which door can I? We could go back to the stairwell, but that doesn't lead anything, and I don't think it matters which grand parlor door we go out, because neither one is locked. Wait, this one is. Jk. <laughs> nah, fact. Two D Heath Bar with the five dollar super chat said, "Stopping by real quick on my break. Hope the struggle with these stones ended or ends soon." Two D Heath Bar, thanks a ton for the super chat. You're a legend. I really appreciate it. And uh, the stones have Ugh. pretty much fully passed for There's the most part. I still got rot. some minor pain and discomfort. Um, I think it's either just, you know, recovering from the whole ordeal or maybe just a couple, a fragment or two left. In the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence. This is a different poem than Careless last time, I think. Luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence, Always crashes out of sight. Hear me. For we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Yeah, that poem is slightly different than the poem we find here as Carnby. Interesting. Everybody, everybody, everybody silent clap for that. 
just like you would at a poetry reading if you've never been. <laughs> uh, you think grace is a conduit? That makes that's a that's a good theory, I think, uh, Yeti. You might be onto something. I don't know how much more we find out about her through Emily's story. Something funk funky is going on with Emily and her, I guess, ex fiance. I, I it's also very telling to me that her engagement ring, she's not wearing it. I don't know if you guys have noted. I mean, obviously it's in our inventory, it's in our investigation stuff, but she's not wearing it, but she still has it. It's very interesting to me. And everybody keeps referring to her as Miss Marcus because that's the last name, right? John Marcus, 1918. But she keeps telling everybody, no, 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 no. Call me Miss Hartwood. So. Grace reminds you of Evelyn from RE7. Yep, I can see that, definitely. All right, we need to get back to Beauregard's room. We can solve that puzzle now. A lag and happy or anything in here though before we head on all right Beauregard's room second floor First floor second floor No Beauregard's room is on this floor Right no It's on this It's it's not there. Where's Beauregard's room again? Cassandra's room. Cassandra Beauregard. That's her name. Not Catherine. Why do I keep wanting to calling half of these characters names? I, I I name I give them a different first name. Like Emily Hartwood, who we're playing as. I keep calling her Elizabeth randomly. Second floor. Alright, it's on the second floor. Okay, we gotta go to the piazza. We got to go through here. Very loud clapping that annoys everyone. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Then it'll be up here. And then is it to the left or right? I forgot. It is to the right. Grace's room and then Cassandra's is straight back, right? No, or is that the wash closet? No, nope, yep, that's the wash closet. There we go. All right. The puzzle, the puzzle. All right. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the numbers for the puzzle thing are here. Oops. Oops, it does. Eh? Rotate the bottles. All right, I think this one goes here, if I remember correctly. And I think this one goes here. And then where's the rot on this one? And then I think it's this. Butch am. Let's write this down. All right, two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. Now we need Perosi's journal. Two, five, seven. Oops. Parosi, so Pisces, and then three, four, five, Pisces, Gemini, Pisces, Gem oop, Pisces, Gemini, and then six, seven, and then Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Leo. I keep, <laughs> all right, I, this might be TMI, and I don't know why, this might be a typical guy thing. Every time I see the Leo symbol, because of the way it's turned in this book, I think of a sperm with a wiggly tail. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. All right. Yeah, buddy. All right. The last piece to the boiler. Now we got to get down to the boiler. Everything else in here dandy? Everything else fine? Objectives wise, where are we at? The prick of the yep. syringe hadn't hurt as much as the humiliation of being played by that child. Emily just couldn't make any sense of her behavior. Grace seemed amused, but not mocking. Was this just her being? What's playful? up, Sean? Welcome to the stream. As Thanks for joining. Subsided, I hope you're doing good. A second thought appeared. She wouldn't have injected her with something, would she? No, she absolutely did. Why do you think you haven't been in, uh, injected with anything? She absolutely injected you with something. Hold on a sec, chat. I got up. I gotta, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, uh, I gotta, uh, 
Uh, I have a, it was a back itch, so I had to get my back scratcher out. Ah! Okay. Sorry. Those were probably some great faces for stream. My bad. But it was itching really bad. I gotta sit up straight. Ugh. Okay. Um, where am I going again? The boiler, that's right. This way. Ooh, Grace's room in here. She stuck us with the dookie water. She probably injected that de rot into us, right? Nothing else in Grace's room. Okay. Blue, blue. You think it's just a me thing for the for seeing it as the spermy wormy? Uh, where am I going? Servants' quarters. Servants' quarters. That's right. Downstairs. Downstairs. Bloop. And it's this way? It's across the piazza, right? Let's just make sure there's nothing on the map here we could do. Okay, we're good. It's good that I didn't hear you tell me hi and I'm a little hurt, but it's okay. Still love you, big dog. I think I said, I'm pretty sure I said hi, Phoenix. You might have just missed it. But yeah, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Don't worry. I've seen your chat and stuff. I promise. I promise this. Oh, what is Arrow saying now? Did someone say Leo symbol? Uh, wait, what is, what is it? Hold on. Now I gotta see. I did say Leo symbol. Yo, Leo, why does your symbol look like a little squiggly sperm? All right. Uh, boiler, boiler is the room that I just passed. God damn it. All right. I remember this puzzle. All right, the church is down here, right? As we had a little trouble with like the clouds and the way this plays out, but we'll get it. it. Might take us a couple tries here. All right, I'm pretty sure that goes there. And then the old, the old Sunaru goes right, right, sure. Right? And then this goes down there. All right, and then hold on. I gotta do it by the farmland first. Does that go right there? I think so, right? And then, yep, and then this piece, where's the other farm piece? Right here. All right, there we go. I think we have successfully done that. Now we just gotta work out the sun stuff. And that's not it. It might be be this might be no we need something with farmland on the side hold on oh i fucked that up hold on this might be the sun thing here yep i don't think this piece goes here this is farmland i'm a silly billy um i think this goes there maybe 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 scaby <clears throat> that doesn't look right though not at all uh this goes hither and then does that go there and then this goes up here nope we done fucked up oh shit oh shit i messed up big time Hold on. Okay, there we go. And then this... There we go. <laughs> Find the talisman hidden on the boiler. Alright, this is gonna teleport us to, uh... Ter Terawea, I think? Alright, nine... Seven... Five? Nine, seven, five? Nine, seven, five, right? All right, we already been over here. Am I supposed to do something here, though? We got the numbers. Where am I supposed to put the talisman, though? Find the talisman numbers on the boiler. 975, yep. And then we go back to the astronomical clock, right? And we use it. That's what we do here. Turn around. The stairs are right here. All right. 
and then astronomical clock back across the piazza and then up the stairs by the bear you ever just walk along and bear turn around and there's bear bear all right let's go party animals is a great game fantastic it's also free which is great um yeah clock nine seven five right do i not go to the clock excuse me find the talisman numbers and we already saw wait i did this last time too i was like i saw the numbers and then i left but like i have to do something to trigger for emily to be like oh yeah those are the numbers let me let me save me too All right, there we go. Uh, Piazza. Damn it, I came all the way over here and I didn't mean to. <clears throat> Does Emily's storyline take as long as complete the, as the other? It's this, it's uh, five chapters, just like the other one. I would say it's probably about the same time, but because I'm on my second playthrough, um, I'm moving faster, right? Or at least I feel like I am. I don't know what you guys think. I think I am. We're at three hours and 45 minutes. Subtract 10 for the starting soon. And then I have a lot of donations and stuff tonight. Me acknowledging. Yeah, I feel like I'm further along though. We're almost near the end of chapter two. Nine. Seven. Five. There we go. The talisman is showing another wound. Something is open. A wine cellar. A wine cellar is gonna be open. All right, I got this. Ooh. But yeah, roughly, if you played Emily's story first, it would take the 10 to 12 hours that it took us to complete Emily's story that it took us to complete Carnby's. It worked. I'm in another one of Jeremy's dreams. Yep, I remember this place, the graveyard. Bolates? Tell me that doesn't look like Bolates. Why can't I pick them up? I need said Bolates, please. <laughs> Give me the Bolates. All right, fine, fine, fine. Well, excuse me. I think that got me kind of first time too. Why do we, why as why, why do we as humans put creepy ass statues in cemeteries and shit? Like, why? Like, who started that dumbass tradition and why do we still do it? It's really fucking creepy. Can we, can we I want to start a petition to not do it anymore. It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. Yep. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. All right, le family tomb. Is that guy's... That guy's grave. There's nothing here to pick up. All right. We picked up something here as Carnby, but I guess as Elizabeth, there's nothing there yet. Like, look at, like, like, why? I'm sorry. That's just, it's, the, no. Nonsense. This is a creepy little area. What the fuck is this? Can I ma- I don't have a melee weapon. I was gonna say, can I melee that? What is back here? Bro, I don't think I found this. I'm a little worried now. Was I supposed to find this area as Carnby? Oh shit. Where is that from? You bitch. Are there more shotgun shells here? Nope. Okay. Where did he come from? Maybe I did find that area as Carnby because I kind of remember that I'm lost now. I went around that way. I'm supposed to go this way. There we go. Yeah, we... Oh, we need to find the... I need to take... Yep, 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 The blessing. What's this? And then we got to line it properly, right? What's that for? But jam. Now we need two we more. Go. Oh, I got to sledgehammer that's right i'm gonna sledge some people 
I gotta keep some traditions alive. What the, what what traditions do I gotta keep alive? Helldivers is a shit ton of fun, dude. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna save ammo here. Ouch, 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 ouch. Bitch. Bitch. All right. I'm not gonna drink a health potion or alcohol because I only have, uh, only got two. This is the chapel in Jeremy's book. It looks like I need more medallions to open it. You do. We need two more. It was the chapel where Jeremy had promised to mourn the mysterious Perosi. Maybe soon she would be able to talk to her uncle and have him end this madness. Yes, sir. She just needed to find a way Our inside the Sorry. chapel. Her ma'am. Sorry. Oh, so the other thing I did today, chat, is I um have been working on my old computer, adding some new parts and everything and getting it spruced up and stuff so I can do a two PC setup, right? So anyway, I was uh, finishing up that today, but I also bought from Lowe's when I got a sh uh, chicken wire and stuff. I bought a uh, you, you might be able to kind of see it. It's it's uh it's right behind me right here it's it, it's kind of hard and probably out of focus it's not all the way in camera but i bought a little like sm uh 30 uh, uh screw organizer little cabinet thing um because i have i've built like five computers over my lifetime and like then you know worked on other miscellaneous computers and stuff and so i have a bunch of like extra screws and stuff because they always give you extra screws when you buy like a motherboard or anything i have a bunch of extra screws and stuff and sometimes those come in handy and i didn't really have them organized i just had them like in different plastic bags so i actually like organized all my parts and stuff because i was like hodgepodging together the best computer i can with extra parts and stuff that i have um so i actually like went through got the screw organizer organized all my extra electronics screws and nuts and bolts and cables and all that shite um and put it together and it's all neat and nice now and i know like oh this row is all like you know it's screws that go on the motherboard and this row is all like other parts screws and such and such and such and such so um i'm really proud of myself i like organizing stuff sometimes like that so but it was really nice today. I did that first, and then I added a new CPU cooler, uh, an AIO to the old PC build. And uh, it was really nice to just be able to like, oh, you know, I need this screw. And it was all nicely organized and everything. So that was pretty cool. That's a really nerdy thing. Not super interesting, but that's besides putting up chicken wire to stop the raccoon from shitting on our deck. That's the other big thing that I did today. And now it's behind me, and you guys could semi kind of see it, but it's probably blurry and you can't really tell what it is. But yeah. I don't have a melee weapon. I don't see any throwables. Ah, oh, god damn it. That wasted so much ammo. I'm going to take out my shotgun for these next one. Did I remember to save? When's the last time I saved? That's a good question. Let's just go ahead and save. All right, we should be good. La Lafayette Cemetery. Cemetery. Oh, there was an opportunity right by that guy. I could have used that. Like this opportunity right here. close to see if one blast will do it. There we go.
Christian, by the way, welcome to the stream. Thanks for reminding me to save. Appreciate that. <laughs> I had a bunch of extra uh, Steam Deck parts too, because I have a Steam Deck and I had it sitting on a counter one day and one of my kids knocked it off and it broke the shoulder button on it. And so I ordered, the really cool thing about Steam Deck, if you guys didn't know, is uh, Steam, uh, Steam partner or Valve partnered with iFixit.com. Uh, iFixit, if you don't know, is a website that compiles a bunch of like self-help, self-fixing guides for electronics, phones, game consoles, computers, all that stuff. And then they have a bunch of like tools and like replacement parts, like screws and packages you can buy for things. A lot of them are unofficial, but Valve actually partnered with iFixit for the Steam Deck and said, hey, we want people to be able to up replace their screen, you know, replace a button if they break it or whatever. So we're gonna give you the schematics essentially and tell you how to produce replacement parts appropriately and you sell them and just give us a small cut. So anyway, I, I found that through iFixit and just ordered like a, a general parts replacement kit for Steam Deck. Cause I was like, I'm sure this will probably happen again at some point. Um, Cause I have young children. <laughs> and uh, I was able to fix the shoulder button myself, which was really nice. Uh, but I have a bunch, you know, I still have a bunch of extra Steam Deck parts and screws. Because when you buy the shoulder buttons, it comes with both the left and the right. And only my right trigger was broken. This fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> Asshole. Made me drink alcohol. Alright, we're looking for the other thingies. I know where we gotta go. We gotta go in there. Nope. Nope. Not today, save. Blue, 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 blue. Nope. Wow. Save the ammo, bitch. Yeah. It's blocked. Yeah, check out iFixit. iFixit is good stuff. I actually... Not sponsored. <laughs> I actually have... They have a, like... Uh, uh, they have a toolkit. A general, like, small electronics repair toolkit that comes with, like, a really nice small screwdriver like every bit known to man that you would ever need that would be used in electronics or what whatever it's a little pricey it's well it's not too bad for what it is i feel like because it's a really good quality um but um it was like 60 or 70 bucks and that toolkit it's really nice it has like a it folds up into a little bag and it has like a magnetic lid to it so nothing falls out it's really nice that's what I use to build all of my computers to fix any of my electronics or anything. I just get that iFixit toolkit and bam, I can I can work on like any small electronics that I want to. It's really fucking nice. Um, but they also have like a magnetic work mat that you can place out and then like it's magnetic so you can stick the little tiny computer screws and stuff down on it and they don't go anywhere. Um, and I have one of those as well and it's really cool. I stumbled across iFixit uh, uh, online and they've been a godsend because I've been able to repair like some of my electronic stuff if something goes wrong with it. Instead of trying to warranty it or uh, buy a new one, you know, or whatever. Oh, great. Son of a bitch. Uh... I didn't hit him. I tried to do that quickly. Fuck. That's what I was going for. Ah, uh, yeah. Dying from fire. Only wasted one bullet. You son of a bitch. Alright, where did we come in from? I got all turned around. I can't remember where we came in from. Can I open this? Alright. We did not come from this way. That sounds better than Nintendo just forces you to buy uh, one new Joy-Con for $80 if it breaks. It is. I fix it has Joy-Con replacement parts or they used to. They're unofficial. So buyer beware at your own risk. But I've heard that they're pretty good. Uh, so I will also say buyer beware. Joy-Con parts and the Joy-Cons are really hard to work on, I've heard. They're, it's really delicate and it's really small. 
Um, so, and you kind of got to know what you're doing. I fixed it. It has free guides, though. And I think they do have some, like, they had it. They used to sell a kit to do Joy-Con drift, drift, uh, fix or whatever to fix the drift on Joy-Cons, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, moral of the story is I fixed it. Reach out. Sponsor me. I'll do it. Because I use the shit out of uh, uh, I fix it. Night Rider, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Kelso, welcome. I think you've been here for a little bit, Kelso. Good to have you. The sticks on Joy-Cons are easy to repair. Yeah, I think that that might be the easiest thing on Joy-Cons. Anything else is a little... It's a little iffy. <laughs> Alright, this is one of the other medallions that we need. It's the omen, hmm. the bird. No, fuck you, bitch. I remembered you were there. Oh, so sad. Bye bye. Bye. What shall we name you? Fucky Wuckies? Fucky Wuckies. There you go. Bye, Fucky Wuckies. All right. I have a shovel. I don't need that right now. All right, this loops around, right? I believe this loops around. Is there a universal controller for gaming? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Oh, this one's... I forgot. This one's fucked up, dude. Shotgun time. The reload. God, the reload takes so long and dodging. It doesn't work. I missed? Fuck. Nope. 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 Fuck you guys. Son of a bitch. So, fuck. Which one did he burst out of? Alright, reload my one shotgun shell. He's trying to save ammo there. He burst out of this one? No, 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 no. There's a place we haven't been. Yeah, yeah, over here. Oh, yeah, there's the crucifix. I forgot about that. Alright, go, go, go. Yeah. Why is she in the graveyard again looking for a date? We're in the graveyard because we're trying to find our uncle Jeremy Hartwood. And we found a note saying that essentially he was here at one point. So we're here looking for either to f see if he's still here or to figure out if there's clues as to where he went. Oh, dude, look at that. The power of Christ was pretty powerful there. Beat his ass with that crucifix, dude. It's not even broke yet. Here, let's replace it with a new one. All right. Um. Oh, I thought the other thing would be over here, but this is just a little side diversion. Okay. Just got done hell diving. That game is way too much fun. I know. Hell divers yeah. is so goddamn good. All right. Fuck. I think we came from that way. This is the one we haven't been in, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh god. I could not I could not do this. Her and Edward are way braver than me. I would not be caught dead down here. Fuck this shit. Alright, I have two so I can get through this door. Just have to line them up correctly, right? Alright. We could flip them.
I don't remember which one goes where, so we'll try the hand on the bottom again. Oop. I didn't mean to do that. And the bird on the top, because birds can fly, right? So birds should go on top. Yep, there we go. I don't know if my logic is, is the logic that they wanted you to have to solve that, but that's the logic that I'm going with. Oh God, all the skulls. All the bones, dude. Fuck. All right, we're just running. Running, running, running. I don't wanna be next to this shit any longer than I have to. Wait, is there a little... <gasps> was this here as Carnby? Oh, I think it was. There was a lag and happy here. Does that not look like a box of ammo? It does, but I can't pick it up. Yeah. Oh. to the chapel door put the three plates in correctly and open it i think the commonplace book has the correct placement of the plates for us <laughs> crown breaking raven welcome to the stream the morrow welcome good to have both of you i hope you're both doing good nightmare superman good to see you thanks for joining all right <sighs> i made it out that we did all right and then around hither all right, commonplace book. I don't remember off the top of my head the order of said things. No, maybe it's not common. Here it is. It is. So the hand, the lamb, and the bird. Okay. So, all right. So then we just need... Do you like that, right? And then I need to, oh, no, wrong switch. Why is it doing it like that? I need to, I need to switch. I can't, it's not letting me switch medallions the way I want to switch them. There we go. Okay. I was like, huh? No, 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 no. Okay, the rotating always gets me. All right, that's correct. And then we just got to get Lamington here. L Mr. Lamington. We just got to get him spun around correctly and we're good. Is that, is that not correct? Oh, gravy. Oh, that's right. That's right. Nope. Put those, put all that back. I remember now. All right, there we go. There we go. And then... Which way is it? Is that not right? Hold on. I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, bird is a bird. Okay. Oh, I'm doing something okay. wrong with lining up the things. Okay. What am I doing wrong here? I feel like they're supposed to be like that, right? There we go. Okay. Just took me a second. Jeremy's in here. Uh, Perosi is dead in a coffin, right? Yep. All right. So far, the same as Carnby. The conversation is probably going to be different because Jeremy's her uncle. I 
I needed to rotate them? Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> Emily, is that you? Jeremy. What are you doing here? He calls her Emma. Well, you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. I bargained to keep the dark man. safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman and I know about Tarawea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't speak. He's not in here. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emily? He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Oh, he is. This did not happen. I don't think it did in Carby's. Emily! What? It's like she's receiving a revelation. She's back in Perosi's room with Perosi's body. Or no, the... No, the dark Tarawea. man did show up. It was just more Why of a confrontation. There, Jeremy? And Perosi's there dead. I don't know that we got an explanation for how Perosi died. This letter might explain it. I don't know. Something might explain. This letter explains that her and Jeremy had something going on. Because it says my everything. Yeah. I've seen so many strange occurrences yeah. lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. He says, Dreams. So he says, with all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we'll have to double check notes and see, but I don't remember if it I ever tells us how Perosi dies. Pack with a dark man. He meant to go to Tarawea. Maybe there is something there that would help. Yeah, I'm not sure. Despite suffering the hardwood curse herself, Emily never thought she would be seeing the dark man manifested in front of her eyes. To Emily, the curse was very much a psychological condition and not something that could suddenly step into a physical world. What did this mean? Could her own personal demons take form? Surely the only way to get any answers would be to find a way to the place Jeremy so desperately wanted to go. She needed to go to Tarawea. Tarawea. All right, we can open Jeremy's steamer trunk because we got the key to it. She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. Yeah. Perusi's feet remained a mystery to Emily. Was she a part of Jeremy's story? Or did she maybe have her own? So maybe we maybe we learn later. I, if we did learn, I for, <laughs> I've forgotten already. And we just played this game. I, I beat this game three streams in a row in the Carnby story in the last three days. And I've already forgotten. <laughs> Drag guy said, bring back stream beats. What if, Skilly, LOL. I, what if we'll come back uh, as a song in rotation. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I just gotta mix it up some, you know? Play some different music, you know what I mean? I don't know why I became, like, mafia there for a minute, but, you know. You guys know. Uh, Jeremy's is on the... He's right here. Okay, never mind. I should have remembered that. Yeah, I might find out how she died later. We might have found out in Carnby's playthrough, and I just fucking forgot. All right. Barlow lens. This is for the telescope it's in telescope um, Perosi's oh, room. Nobody left it in here. Oh, in the Jeremy drawing room. Jeremy had found a way to enter Tarawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. 
Holding the telescope lens in her hands, Emily suspected what it was, at least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what she would find, she felt eager to put the lens to use. Okay, so I remember now. So if you read the patient file, right, for... Hold on, let's look. Because we were wondering about Perosi, right? Where's the patient files? Body's diary. Here we go. Perosi. Does it tell us? Elizabetta Perosi. So she's described... She was a member of the... Uh, she claimed to be a member of the Aristarch... Aristarchy artist colony from 20 years ago, a claim that seems to be counterfactual to due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time that the colony was around because it was in 1915 and now we're 1930, right? Um, so anyway, blah, blah, blah. So I think she actually is from there and then got time traveled somehow, right? Kind of like we're doing with uh, talismans, right? Um, the does it say anything here? No, it doesn't. Okay. Huh. She broke into the parlor. Okay. I don't know how she died. It's kind of implied there that she had her own problems. So maybe like drug overdose or some or something like that. Too much alcohol. I don't know. We might find out more later. Okay. All right. Drawing room is second first floor first floor first floor yes so we gotta go down which means we gotta go back out here hey what's up welcome feta and uh emma good to have both of you i hope you're both doing good hey skilly it's 8 a.m in my country here in south africa i woke up and was glad to see you live smile oh that's awesome it is 203 a.m for me I think I'm going to finish up chapter two here and then we're going to call it for tonight because it's getting late. I'm getting tired. I had a long day. I was up early too. All right. Straight back. All the way straight back through the piazza and everything. Good night, Transmute. Well, thanks for joining. Glad to have you. Appreciate you being here. Have a good night. Freaky Sky CJ, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Wait, I went the wrong... No, I didn't go the wrong way. I did go the wrong way? I didn't go the wrong way? I need to go through the library in the small parlor. That's what it is. All right. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Telescope, Arlo lens, and then I can just use my mouse to adjust it. I did this so easy as Karn beat. I'm having a little bit more trouble as my mouse sensitivity is really fucking high though. There we go. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing good. Good to see you. All right, we just have to we just have to free ball these uh these fucking constellations, right? Or wait, 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 wait. This might be in the commonplace book. It's not. Yep, so we just have to free ball these. I think last time... It's the talisman. That's what it is. That's what this is. The talisman is like stars, right? It's cosmic. All right. Um. So this... Goes in the center. I think. That goes not there 
I can't rotate these, so I just have to put them in the right spots. I think that goes there. No, this is all wrong. This is all kinds of wrong, dude. There we go. All right. I need something. That's looking right. That looks right. This goes here. This goes here. But sham, baby. 941. Wait, what's going on? It's entering the numbers by itself? I forgot okay. where that fireplace uh, is. Great, so where is that? Oh, it's in the 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 da da da, 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 da da dining room? Is that what that's called? Right? Dining room. I think this is the dining room. I think so. Alright. Was this dream of Tarawea without a catch? A place for rest and comfort. A place for rest and comfort. All right, it was Mr. Wadsworth with the candlestick in the dining room. All right, uh, dining room, dining room, dining room, dining room. Where the fuck is the dining room again? It's, it's right here. It's right here. So we're going to run out here. We're going to run there. We're going to go there. All right, we got it. Hold on. I want to see if the tree is whispering again. Is it whispering yet? It's got to be whispering, right, by this point? Shubroth, bitch. This is really weird. For Carnby, I guess the tree was whispering because he was staying at Dursetto. He had just forgotten it. But for, Eli for Elizabeth, god damn it. For Emily, it's not... We don't hear the tree yet. Like, we don't hear anything from the tree. That's so fucking strange, dude. That's so goddamn strange kind of creeping me out that the tree is being silent to us like it knows that we know you know what i mean it knows it knows we have the forbidden knowledge all right the dining room is through this door i believe yep and the fireplace is over here ah here we go um okay what am I supposed to do here again? Uh, Jello. Oh, this is gonna take us to tear away. Hey, Woo. your boy needed to pee. It's Juan. It's Juan. Hello, Juan. Juan is like the nicest, best character in this game. No funny business with this guy. You should Except not Except for have he's come. not real. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. As a manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires, I am to you unfamiliar. Yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? Are you I am Jeremy? only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Yermi goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yermi once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Yermi doesn't want you to. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Dorsetto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. That's what? the first time we've been No, that doesn't make any sense. That. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Yermi will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their settle. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy. 
and hopefully the people at Dorsetto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. Yeah, we'll just the have to deal with that later. and Shubra. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's... here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I... I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. That conversation, way different with Emily instead of Carnby. Way, 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 way different. Juan, I mean, Juan was super nice to Carnby and basically gave us a bunch of info too, but that played out way different, I think, because Juan is a manifestation of Jeremy's psyche, right? And obviously, Jeremy likes his niece, so... But that's the first confirmation we got that, that essentially what's happening is there's Seto, the convalescent home, is that tree in the center is, is I call it Shubroth because I don't want to say the full name because um, Lovecraft's a bitch. But uh, <clears throat> is Shubroth, right? And it's evil and it affects everybody there. And Jeremy's not actually mad. Jeremy has realized that all the patients and staff at Dorsetto are basically a cult that are trying to bring like basically Shubroth, the ancient one, back, right? They're trying to bring him back into the world. And so to stop them, he has made a pact with another entity, the Dark Man, to contain the evil at Dorsetto, but sacrificing him soul and, his soul and himself, basically, to be imprisoned forever to do so. So now we have the full, like, overarching big picture of what the fuck is going on, right? And now we're on the same mission that we were on as Carnby, right? Which is to stop them. To stop the pact with the dark man Jeremy has. And to fucking stop the cult from bringing back Shubroth. Right? That's essentially... Black Goat. I can say Black Goat. Yeah, I can say that. Shubroth just sounds fun, though. Should be called that. <laughs> Alright, I gotta save. I gotta save, and then I gotta call it there, guys. Because it is... I'm tired. And it's 2.15 my time. It's late. We are gonna finish up. I think... I don't know. We'll see how quickly I can do it. Uh, I'm going to stream again on Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, starting about 10 a.m. Eastern, um, until hopefully we can finish this game because we've been moving pretty quickly through it. Hopefully we can finish Emily Hartwood's story and then we'll be completely done with Alone in the Dark. It's been a fun ride so far, despite some of the bugs and stuff here and there. Um, hey, listen, I my new content schedule, I'm supposed to have a video come out on Sunday. You guys know this week was fucking shit for me with kidney stones and stuff. And it was all over the place. And I changed up my content a lot. I did more streams than edited videos. I did an edited video and a stream on Friday. So I did two pieces of content. So you guys got a stream on Tuesday, stream on Wednesday, stream on Thursday, stream on Friday, edited video on Friday. That's five pieces of content and a stream on Saturday. That's six pieces. So I still did six pieces of content this week. I just did it different than what my normal schedule is. I apologize. I just, with the kidney stones, I was fucked up this week. So I'll go back to normal next week, but I am unfortunately not going to have a video tomorrow because I didn't get a chance to record it. And I don't want to interrupt Sunday family time and record and edit a video to put out. So no video tomorrow. Everybody enjoy the rest of their weekend. If you're looking for something to watch, please, it would help me out a bunch. Go watch the last edited video I put out, the Terratech Worlds, the sponsor, the first sponsor for the channel. Go check that video out. Go check that game out. Catch up on the Alone in the Dark streams. If you haven't seen them, go catch up on those in preparation for us finishing the game on Tuesday. And I'll be back at you on Tuesday with a stream. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the weekend. Take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.